I will. Let me know when you can see it. Watch out. I got pockets to store all your body parts. What is this for? It's the stream stuff. I don't Well, I got bloody bloody big pockets. Can I turn down a little bit more? Sassy. Are we live? Yeah. Ooh. Is it just a chest live or is this actually? No, live? we are live. I got to make food. <laughs> Style over substance. Attitude is everything. Live on the edge. These are the only three rules that guide our future. A future heavily inspired by the work of Hosan Gonzalez. Bound by the cyberpunk law of Mike Podsmith. A dark future cast in a neon glow where corporations through nuclear fire have destroyed the known world save for a few mega metropolises. The tales you're about to witness are built around the heart of one such city. Robo City 16 where the machine rules through a mechanized iron fist. The promise of prosperity through logic and sedation has stagnated the progress of the people. However, what lod <laughs> what the logic, the mi or sorry, wow. Aha, what the logic of the machine will never conclude, but the will of a few may is the future is now. <laughs> For good or ill, the chosen few of the, did you decide on a name yet? Mortal code. Of the mortal code you witnessed before me, will they hasten synthetic rapture or lead us to biological prosperity or something new? Find out this time on Sassapunk. I look forward to memorizing that and workshopping it, but... We don't have um, an intro yet either, so just, can we make some, like, sound effects? Well, that is going to be the intro every time. Uh, laser shooting from behind me. Uh, so, I would like to actually go over a few um, just notices and, and disclaimers for this stream. Uh, this is our first time doing this, so all feedback is welcomed. Help us get better at streaming for you and making this as chaotic and cathartic as we can. Uh, also, we're pretty much using 100% of Hosan Gonzalez's art. All of the art you see here was created by Hosan Gonzalez. Um, so if you end up liking this stream and word gets out, uh, and it is it is it ends up ultimately not being sanctioned or approved, our entire <laughs> brand strategy or lack thereof could be subject to drastic change. So if you like the aesthetic, uh, great, we do too, but it may change. Uh, and also this story takes place in Hosan Gonzalez's The Future Is Now uh, world, or at least a world heavily inspired by it. On that note, um, this is my first time, uh, this is my yeah first time GMing for Cyberpunk. So all of the rules, and I mean all of them, are subject, subject to uh, impromptu change uh, in in favor of the narrative, pushing the narrative forward for this session. Of course, we're all working together to learn these new rules and this new rule set, so um, we will get better and better at it and hopefully make less sacrifices as time goes on. Uh, also, this is a rated M, rated M, yeah, rated R stream, not for kids. Did you um, put that in the stream? There are, I didn't, Sentence, can you? Yes. You can put rated R. <laughs> you can set the audience to eighteen plus. Self, <laughs> self, self, assess your age, Maybe we'll guys. Just keep it a and clean yeah, I don't for think we can one. do that now. I think it's too late. But next time we'll put eighteen plus. And we'll get him we'll out see how clean it gets. I'll just list all, all the bad words right now. Heck, frick. Uh, yes, yeah, there are Dang many. There Darn are many it. adult themes and some difficult to avoid graphical scenarios so just be wary of that sure, um nice. in in that vein uh the future is now Hosan gonzalez's work is a very dark very mature very uh it has a lot of uh, uh deep views and depictions of of social and political 
uh, viewpoints. So I am not confident that I can convey those uh, thoroughly or elegantly to a wide audience. So it's going to be a bit more tame of a world than the one that uh, that Hosan has has created. Um, at least in the beginning, you know, maybe maybe I'll have an epiphany and, and I'll get much, much better. I'm going to turn that down a little bit. Um, let's see if is that it? Ah, in that same vein, if anything makes you feel uncomfortable and uh, uh, you would like us to tone it down or you just have feedback, always let us know. We are eager to make this as acceptable for as many people as we can above the ages of, what is R, 13, 14? 17. 17. Well, <laughs> I'm speaking on my own experience. Well, really um, so uh, in terms of community uh, and chat um, and stream engagement, uh, Luna here, or Netra, will be the voice of our community and chat. Her character is connected to what she is just now finding out is called the deep stream. Um, the, and the deep stream is uh, an encrypted social hub where you can stream your content to those who have access. Uh, it's it's called the deep stream because sort of uh, creativity and uh, a, a way to express yourself and highlight yourself as an individual is highly, highly um, sort of cracked down on and, uh, and snuffed out to the best degree that the machine uh, can in this world. So. Uh, they people take to the deep stream uh, in order to uh, socialize over the the web or the net. Um, so there will be moments where she can ask the deep stream or you guys, the chat, um, uh, for advice at, in a particular moment or situation or information on something. When these moments come up, uh, feel free to add whatever you want, and it'll be up to her discretion as of right now to uh, to decide how she wants to implement your feedback. Uh, and so our priority is to preserve narrative focus, which means that all of us at the table, save for Luna, will not be watching the the uh, the, the chat. That'll be Luna exclusively. And even when we do engage with Luna, when she conveys what the the uh, the deep stream uh, has to say, it'll be of a narrative or through a narrative lens of us trying to um, well be like, oh yeah, what is, what is the deep, what does the deep stream say about this? This is really like maybe one of them knows something about what we're, what we're encountering right now. So this is all of course subject to change as this is our first time doing something like this. So if you have, as always, if you have feedback, we would love to hear it and appreciate it to no end. Uh, now that is all I have. Do any of you guys have any quick, Tidbits or things that you want to make sure is known? No? <laughs> Can I give an example of how I might need information? Yeah, absolutely. I was thinking, like, I have an ability where I can hack systems and get passwords. And I was thinking, like, I'm getting the password now. And then I'll put in the chat, like, I need a password. And you guys can write down or text in the chat some ridiculous password, and that'll be the password. If I succeed if on you that. If you succeed. Ability. Yeah, sure. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, there, we also have ambitions in the future that we don't, we haven't fleshed it out right now as to incorporating other ways for you guys to, to engage and help us craft this world and, and build it. Um, but we will get to more of that in future streams. For right now, welcome to Robo City 16. Drones are constantly patrolling overhead, glimmering along with the pristine mega skyscrapers on the horizon. If you can see the horizon from the streets, that is. Small multi-limbed bots picking up a needle's worth of garbage in a haystack of filthy streets and alleys. Everything and everyone down here looks like a mix of broken and fixed many times over, or just plain broken. Patrols of Robo City 16's police force, Polizei. Uh, and that's another thing, the, the, the machine is German. I am very heavily thinking about just scrapping that and making it uh, <laughs> just a not German entity. <laughs> uh, their police force is the, uh, the Polizei, uh, and they roam the streets, all robots, scions of the machine's Ministry of Justice. 
pushing humans over, frisking them for no apparent reason. K947, robo dogs, built with a perpetual grimace at their sides, chemical discharge spewing out of their mouth. Electric neon signs litter the sides of buildings. Propaganda plagues every view of the city. The machine protects. The machine loves you. Glory to the machine. Graffiti and vandalism are equally present, mixing these messages and signs to their own needs and their own uh, message that they want to convey to the world. It's comical how easy it is to find what corporations want you to find. Many signs of pills, new media systems, anything to keep you sedated and intoxicated on what they want to feed you. There are numerous barbershop type setups in garage based establishments, cybernetics being implanted in casual sitters who are near oblivious to the work being done on their implants as they are almost drooling, being absorbed by what they're watching in the headset. Robots just next to them, working on themselves, having a casual conversation, uh, engaged in one another. Um, then we go to the underground, home to many of the mechanical systems that keep RoboCity 16 functioning, woven in between a vast network of labyrinthine passages and subway systems. Many are malfunctioning and broken, certainly not abandoned, as the dregs of the dregs of society collect here. Uh, <laughs> underground, uh, underground <laughs> crowded markets fill old subway stations, even filthier than just above. This is where we find our anti-heroes. In one such abandoned rail car, a few abandoned rail cars away from a bustling market called Beggar's Reach. This is where we zoom in on our players. In the rail car of uh, that you have commandeered yourself. It's, it is certainly not, um, you're not isolated in this. You're one rail car among many different rail cars. Um, also home to numerous uh, entities, robots, humans, a combination of both, all trying to make their own life down here. You picked this because it uh, it is amongst the people. It blends in pretty well. Um, and in the underground, whereas it is still patrolled by the machine and the polizai, it is not nearly as much as the, the upper city uh, and the street level. So we pick up now, and we can do around around the the horn introductions. Let's start off with my bottom left, your bottom right, stream. <laughs> According to both of us, it's very confusing. You um, you make your own decisions here. I am Netra, a net runner slash media, but the rules on the media people have not come out yet. So for now, I'm just playing as a net runner. Homebrew. <laughs> it's a little homebrew. House rule. Um, I am currently sitting in the corner of our rail car, and because I'm always live streaming, we can't have the public knowing our actual location because then we could probably be infiltrated and taken down very easily. So I'm currently trying to connect to our. CP VPN <laughs> and bouncing locations so that they can't. I'm trying to find a new location right now for our VPN. Oh, okay. Yeah. This uh, digital VPN or your digital? Oh, okay. But I'm like, you know, I see it in front of me and I'm like, okay. Choosing a location that's halfway across the world with 10 different reroutes so they'll never find us. There's, you find quite a few open spots uh, in New Dallas. Oh, perfect. And some even in um, Harajuku Island. Harajuku Island. We're going with Harajuku Island. Okay. Um, all right, and your character's look. Um, she has red hair. <laughs> and wears a lot of tech. And has a headset on, but I can't wear a headset on the stream because that would 
be ridiculous. <laughs> I was thinking about that. I'm but it, that. Uh, <laughs> it projects augmented reality onto my actual. It's like an augmented reality overlay onto the real world. No. I know what you're thinking, too. Yeah, what are you doing? Sorry, I, I'm I'm actually genuinely thinking about bringing a quest on here and like trying to find some way to put my notes in it. <laughs> that was oh, your crazy. quest. Oh, I thought you were talking about giving our Gear VR our phone. No, no. Um, put your yes, notes in it. Sorry, well, I'll ask later. <laughs> no talking to the sky. <laughs> Can't you read in past the god it? in the sky? The you. The machine. Machi the, the machine game. Hey, he's the machine. <laughs> I'm, I'm assisting you also <laughs> against you. I am, okay, fine, I am partially the machine. I haven't really touched my voice yet. How can we trust My it? name is Jay. I'm street scum. Uh, <laughs> uh, basically, I, I'm wearing a, a Jason hockey mask, um, though I switch it out interchangeably with uh, Casey Jones. I got a green hoodie and this chest rig that I can attach several things to. Um, I you'll always see me carrying a blade. This uh, this nasty chipped rusty machete, and that's my favorite weapon. But I also carry a shotgun on my back in case things get really bad. Um, I'm from the sewers, and I don't like being above ground, and I especially hate the machine. You would find me probably just scraping my machete up against the the perimeter of our place, <laughs> because this, where we're at, really everywhere we're at, is always hostile, and I'm the one, like, basically letting it be known that people do not want to fuck with this group. It's a very unnerving you're gonna, sound you're to hear. You're gonna dole that blade from inside. Of all, car. yeah, of all the the uh, abandoned yet uh, taken up residence rail cars, this one is even more destroyed and broken and scratched up than the ones around it. It's really scary. We're always being like surveyed. There's surveillance everywhere, so they know we're here. But if they they come, at least we're we're a known presence that hopefully we're. Giving off the signal, don't fuck with us. <laughs> don't come in this real car. <laughs> All right. My bottom right, your bottom left. Oh, that's me. Hello, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I am from a year living, playing Astrea Magneta. I, uh, for my looks, I, look, I have long brown hair. I'm a female, by the way. <laughs> Uh, I have a uh, like a face shield that covers about half my head. It goes down to my like uh, like the lower part of my cheekbones. It doesn't cover my nose completely. And sometimes things will flash up there, like this, like the status of my car, how much gas I have, how much you know, just like the little wear and tear thing. Because I'm I'm a nomad, so I, I spend a lot of time with my car. I have a uh, gold ion tattoo on my uh, right hand, right arm, basically that uh, basically unlocks my car and does a bunch of other things. It's almost like your your smart key for your car. Uh, I usually carry around with me a shotgun and a heavy pistol, and I have rippers in my left hand. Uh, yes. What are rippers? <laughs> rippers? They're just uh, they little like? three-inch blades that come out of my fingers, basically. How <laughs> <laughs> do like fingers, not the Psst. yeah. yeah. <laughs> like the Edward Scissorhands of Cyberpunk. <laughs> gotcha. I got this on your face. Very sassy, but intelligent at the same time. Sassy. <laughs> <laughs> sassy. Sassy. Mm. Wait, the rippers are sassy. Oh, you're sassy. Rummy being sassy. Well, yeah, I can't wait. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the the rippers then. No. <laughs> the rippers are very sassy. They talk back a lot. The rippers? You're just okay, constantly uh, talking back here. <laughs> We have a crew of uh, 1980s murder film people. And I'm no different. Me called Winds of a Burden. I'm a, I'm a solo. Be running around with the uh, assault rifle. Very scratched up. Very been through a lot of times. Uh, sorry, Winslow. Just to interrupt, y you guys can only have you guys can only have pistols and shotguns right now. Change it to a pistol. <laughs> Heavy pistol. Heavy pistol. Big pistol. Bolter pistol. 
Yeah. 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 I'm wearing a lot of tan, as you can tell. One piece. I get my mask later on, but I'm wearing a tan mask. I got R uh, RBG um, rainbow fur on the back. It's going to be great. Yeah. Like Serious and stylish. Yeah. I don't know what to picture now. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to need a picture. <laughs> you all have been Robo City 16 citizens for most of your lives and have found each other by various means, but there is one element that truly binds you. You can't stand the way things are. You want change. You want death to the machine. That's all. Um, is there anything, since this is your home, what would you guys have done to it in order to uh, personalize it, make it more your own, uh, fortify it. We, we can't like do heavy armor plating across the whole thing, but if there, <laughs> if there is something that you would have made sure was implemented into this uh, uh, in terms of like security measures or so on and so forth, we can talk through that. If not, you guys will just have a standard uh, uh, car. And it's car five, by the way. I would have worked with Jay to kind of make murder holes. Kind of like just little holes we can shoot or see out of. <laughs> Murder <laughs> holes. That's a thing, yeah. That's an actual thing. thing. That's a, that's a, actual thing. thing. <laughs> a bug out button, yeah. What does like, that bug out button do? Let's go. It's, I don't know. Like, we're, we're on a car, right? Yeah. Like, are, there a bunch, are there so many cars ahead of us that if we push this button and we just start moving, it would destroy them all? Or? Yes, in one direction, uh, further um, into the city. So where you guys are located is actually at the threshold between... Uh, the the bulk of the city, like main the the main downtown. You guys are also like a few miles away from VR Corp, the one of the tallest buildings in Scrapers, uh, one of the the largest, most influential uh, corporations in terms of like media and influence over the the uh, brainwashed masses. Um, so you're in that on that threshold between like uh, deep city and the vast unknown and the 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 uh, outreaches of the city. You guys are also positioned in a hub where a lot of trade is done with what is the another thing i haven't quite thought through the very obvious russian entity in this world leningrad imagine the russian robo city 16 car outside of the native power in the entire system extra, like car engine inside the, the, like, at the back of the car just like okay just spins up and just burns out and goes you just go Okay, give me a and man, I have no idea if this is how it actually works. Give me a. Can I just use a D10? You can use an intelligence, a tech, or yeah, that's about it. Uh, you you can use intelligence or tech, and then tell me what under those. Oh wait, no, no, I'm sorry, not tech, just intelligence. So seven. And then tell me if between education, tracking, perception, and local expert, what you would be able to use. It's my first time asking for a role, so so this works. I guess first, I, use, first role to bring I mean, it. education sounds like it would be it would be what I needed to to actually build this. So I'm gonna use education. I mean, okay. So do I just do seven plus two. Seven plus two, and then roll a d10. Ah, okay. That is 11. 11. Um, you were able to get a few like motorcycle parts. Um, you have to push for the first uh, 150 yards. You got you have to get like a few people to get the momentum up and uh, up and running. And you haven't figured out how to stop other than turning the engine off and waiting for it to coast along and then getting out and like. Or, or coming up with another way on your own to, to get it to stop. But otherwise, this is a barely functioning uh, 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 sort of, you know, if you guys were to escape, some of you might fall in the fire before making it back so into it the car. It doesn't, make, it doesn't make, make sense to even use that, then we'll just scrap it. <laughs> um, I would have I would have talked to Winslow's... Uh, murder holes, we got him. <laughs> beyond that, a, a not a murder hole, but a... Like a like a little bug out hole, where we we would cut a hole 
into the bottom, like the floor of the the, the back door. I will only use one bar. Only use one bar. We'll only use one one of the doors. Like oh, say okay. The front door. So there are there are four doors in total. There's oh right, the the, the front, the, back, and sorry, both sides. The, we'll only use one to go in and out of, and then the other ones will have booby trapped. <laughs> Okay, so that's three booby traps. <laughs> Go ahead and somebody roll me a. Uh, let's see, what would this be? I think it would also be a. Uh, an intelligence, yeah. You can give me. A roll. Wait. Could I have used my luck to, to change that roll? Yes, you, yes, but your luck is used for this entire session. And then, so next session it'll replenish, but it's not like a daily thing. Yeah. And your luck is just how many luck points you have. Yeah, yeah. So it's, it's like, well. Uh, next time I'm going to use my luck. Next time. <laughs> good for you. Use it now if you want. Okay. Uh, is anybody, like, I'm not going to just show you my numbers, but I, I'm not. I'll say if, if five is average, I'm a little above average in I'm a little above average. I told you about my I just rolled nine. Like nine. barely above average. All right, I mean, I oh, I'll go. Seven for intelligence, but that's. that's... Ooh. Eight. Would it be an advantage? Total. Eight total. Uh, so that's that's one trap. We'll say that that is your. Um... I can see my hand. Uh, so that's just one trap. Do I roll? Yep, you can roll. Somebody else can. Um, I'll roll. Right off the table. Netra, do you want to see what the the deep web, how the deep web might want to trap one of the one of the doors? Uh, yeah, let's see. What are we using for our skills for this? Intelligence. So it'd be your intelligence plus whatever uh, is under intelligence that's applicable. If okay. you can come up with another with another skill that you would use, let me know. Fifteen. Fifteen. Yeah, with uh, six with six intel and then local expert. Okay, yeah, you, um, uh, this is the next side door. This is on the opposite side. Um, you have affixed a, just a collection in a tin can of uh, shotgun rounds where when the door swings open, it hits this mechanism that slams into the back of the tin can and just sends this huge shotgun blast. Um, uh, uh, yeah, just pelting and destroying whoever comes in. You're pretty confident this one is like you look up at the paint can and then you look at that and you go, well, I hope they all enter through this one. Um, Shoot the paint can around. Right can I can I have for the the next one? We'll say like one of the. Let's smaller... see if the if the uh, if the uh, there's a triggering mechanism at about the halfway point to when it's hit. It triggers a line that sends a piston connected to your machete <coughs> and just. Uh, goes straight through with a force of like 500 pounds. Wow. Um, and I'd love to be able to just like, almost like a mousetrap, you know, when it's not active, if need be, I can carefully remove the machete. So we got two machetes. You still want the machete. Okay. Yeah. So that machete is going to be there until it's triggered. <laughs> yes. Okay. But I, that, I'll say that's a, just a trap machete. You know, it's not my primary. The triple, you are the R R Roanoa Zolo <laughs> of macheteing. <laughs> um, okay. Um, uh, you guys are still sort of lounging around doing your daily things. These are all would have been set up uh, uh, far in the, uh, the past as soon as you got this. Um, as you have not acted much on your... Can we do anything? Yeah, you can. What do you want, Joe? Wait, have, we seen her, have we seen her before? Is she normal? A usual cat. Uh, roll a roll a d10. Let's see. Ah, definitely can't. Would have been a ten too. That's a nine. Um, nine. No, you've definitely not heard. Ah! Of this is remember the higher the the higher the less uh, likely you are to have uh, heard of her. And as she grabs on, she like looks through the windows and says, "Got a message for the four and car five? It's kind That's, of cryptic. We be the four, car five. What is it, girl? That's us. <laughs> car five called four. 
We got a Techno Karen sends a message for you. Says that uh, Metal Burden, it's been uh, taken over. It's been, uh, you know, yoinked. I leave immediately. Like, <laughs> but, Jay, Jay, let's go. And and you know that your car is actually located in the garage of Metal Time. Wow, uh, two, I guess? Since, I mean, two, I yes. Don't, don't you, they are a, and you can also ask questions as well if, if uh, uh, they are a a recent name that has been um, heard frequently uh, th throughout the past few weeks. Um, it's rumored that they got their start from uh, actually working for the Ministry of Technology, which is an arm of the machine. Um, but they are mostly organic. Uh, they're mostly humans, and they uh, now don't work for for the ministry. It's it's like a, a lot of rumors and myths myths as to what actually happened. But since they left the Ministry of Technology, they've been wreaking havoc in the lesser known areas, and so they don't have a huge name for themselves right now. But uh, they are very technically savvy, and um, to leave, uh, Tiptoes is still sort of like hanging, looking through the windows, and she says. Uh, you guys are gone, so it's just to, to you two. She looks at you and she well, says, "Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something before I leave, but I'm okay. on the way out." Before you guys go, something might be going down with the Ministry of Information. The machine might be making a move. They sent out a message, very cryptic message. They said, "Twenty hundred wings of liberty." The machine loves you. That's it. They've been pumping it out all this morning. Newspapers, posters, mm. over the box. It might mean something big. Just keep your eyes peeled, your ears to the ground, whatever it is you guys do. It looks like you're up to something. Yes, yes, yes. Well, it's something, but need to poke your yeah, I hand her a coin or whatever, whatever credit they use. She yeah. I, I can't tell if it's just because of our internet. Can you test my speed real quick? Yeah. I mean, it looks like it's still going. Hello, everybody. Sorry, everyone. This, uh, if there's any anybody who were, was watching our stream earlier today, the same happened to us. Um, I think something's going on with our internet service provider. It's certainly not our own yeah. incompetence. It's, <laughs> it's the system. It's the, the machine. machine. Watch out. It's the machine. They're trying to take us down. Amazing. Okay, we have, we have. It's uploaded. We need. Oh, it is uploaded, isn't it? Wow, it's going down. Why did you give us six hundred at first? That's pretty good. <laughs> That's good. That good going. enough. Well, then maybe it's just my connection. I think it's a you problem. I don't know. <laughs> it, I keep getting pausing video, and I keep getting uh, stream interrupted notices. It's mm. been very. When we leave, we. We like adjust it so that it's it's just teetering, and all it takes is, is enough pressure for the pit to drop. Mm -hmm. Just freezing on my end, dude. Like every three seconds. Yeah, that's how it's been here too. Like I keep watching it, and it's just nonstop freezing. <laughs> I refreshed our page it, like ten our times. Our Wi-Fi though is is yeah, I know garbage. that's why I can't tell if it's true. I took off the Wi-Fi. I was just on straight data. Was, our data is also garbage, isn't it? No. Well, all right. You just joined us. Anybody out there? Max did for a second. Oh. Anybody out there uh, able to watch this uninterrupted, or is this just a problem that we're experiencing? Let's switch over to games, man. Let's, see let's, uh, let's just proceed. Yeah. Um, okay, so uh, go, go, ahead, so. go ahead and roll a tech. Tech metal, so that's a plus. Uh, it's it's sheet metal, but it's like sheet metal that. And by the way, this is your only entrance. It's sheet metal that just like bows down when people step on it, and then it like will come up and maybe maybe like pinch their hips a little bit. But they're just gonna stand on gravel and be chest high looking at you guys. The best it's gonna do is give you a moment. It's like gonna put them down in the initiative order. We just walk um, around it. We're used to it. Yeah. 
Uh, and it's a good thing you have your your uh, your little bug out hole because uh, you can see their legs from there and <laughs> know that it worked. They're still standing. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, um, uh Rogue, I just have a question. Can we just see? Do we know if if this is at least like should we hit record as well? It it goes to it goes to Facebook and in 1080p, so it's fine. Okay. All is not lost. And the setting is is set to as record. Um. All right, so you guys are are taking off down the uh, right now. So it's like the the right corner of it. Um, you want and me for right to jack now, it's... into that camera. He's already jacked in. I'm already in the but camera. But I can control the can, camera. If you could, uh, you have to be in very close. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the so... rules that I knew. <laughs> <laughs> I figured maybe you would bend them. <laughs> Looks like things aren't so good. I'm, I'm gonna pull my heavy, I'm gonna pull my heavy pistol just because I think they broke my cameras on my car, so I'm angry. Just. Yes, let's go there. I'm with Winslow. Catch up to so him. So you, what you from from your previous uh, check, they were part of the Ministry of Technology. So chances are they know how typical security systems and like technological integrations into either older infrastructure, or newer infrastructure work. Um, they helped build that shit. Um, so chances also are that that they uh, you would know that they probably have taken over or. Um, utilized uh uh metal burden security systems in some way which is pretty rudimentary like the security mm -hmm. systems for for metal burden are locks shotguns. Yeah. locks Very lackluster. cameras um yeah i guess could we have do we have a, like a comm system for between us or no is that would we have like i don't have that on me like winslow why do we have agents yeah we have our yeah oh i see i thought you were talking about like like Headsets. We'll say fuck yeah. You guys have you guys have long, especially some of you with with uh, more athletic cybernetic implants. Um, <laughs> not used to running everywhere, preferring more wheels um, over over legs, uh, getting a little bit uh, tired it out. Hold on, darling. Um, but as you're running down the tunnels, the sort of the taking different channels in and out. Like you also know that there are different passages connecting to different paths that help you sort of almost uh, get off the grid even more, sort of like uh, conceal your path even more. Uh, also, it's just an easier, uh, faster way to get to uh, District um, WL5. And uh, the tracks start to, <laughs> electricity starts to spark down them and you start to see a uh, yellow lights start to, emanate from around the bend uh, where you guys are in your current sort of uh, channel before it starts <laughs> and you guys are just like pressed up against the edge seeing it uh, pass you momentarily before having to go. These are not completely abandoned subway systems, just a, 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 good, a good majority of them are. Um, and you know which ones work at this point, which ones don't. Um, so continuing down, actually, go ahead and roll um, perception. Whoever has that as a as a skill here. I got a bit of skill here. So we just add our intelligence to our perception, and then I'll do our roll. Uh, intelligence to yeah, we can do it that way. I don't know 17. if it's straight. Oh, okay. Whoa. Fourteen. Are we all rolling a perception? If you have perception as your skill, one yeah. of your skills. Uh, Fifteen. Give it. Ooh. Five. Uh, you guys. Eyes in front. As the as the the subway passes and you guys start walking forward here, and you see the deep blue robotic form of a polizai that has just shoved a human out of a window and is just took their face and like ripped it off and then threw their body out of the window and just turns around and walks down the, the tram station um, or walks down the, the, the subway car. That's it. You guys just noticed police brutality. Mm. They call me scum. Yeah. Um, is that the last song? 
Let's see. Mm. I'm gonna ask uh, Nitro, could you perhaps hack that police's system and just make him violently shit himself? A police system? <laughs> That's gonna be very difficult. Mm. Mm. We should stay on track. Next time. Next time. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. I'm, I'm sorry. Just. I don't know that I can hack into uh, yes. police yes, protocols. Yes, yes, yes. I'm sorry. I'm very upset right now. <laughs> the car. Yes. Go. <laughs> Uh, you guys make it to the destroyed stairwell that you take that is maybe 150 meters away from Metal Burden. Um, and th- uh, the stairwell that you guys yourselves have moved enough rubble and debris out of the way to clear for your own sort of entrance and exit, uh, probably covering it every time you come and go. So it takes a little bit of movement to actually get up and around and up into the, the streets. Um, not liking the, uh, the, it's morning time, so the sun sort of washes over you all. Um, some of you have a harder time with the adjustment to the light from this point. Probably you, Jay, um, as your little... Wait, are you just wearing a mask, or do, is are there sort of like components inside of your head as well? Um, I mean, if you're cool with it, I'd love cybernet or cyber optics in the like eye components um just the the aperture sort of it, it looks like in the artwork that his eyes glow red so i imagine they're like obviously it doesn't show what that does in the comic but it seems like there's some kind of tech in there even for technology just taking a little bit longer to adjust and in, in, uh sort of like dilate and decrease and increase in size just a, a getting used to the light that you're, you're the natural light that you're mostly averse to. Um, this is, there are no skyscrapers around. It's m- maybe a triple story building at, at the most uh, that you notice. This is uh, very much the sort of uh, ghetto type parts of town where buildings are complete. Some build, every second or third building is completely abandoned, bordered up raided uh shops have grates on them uh there are uh if you want to get a uh uh, to sort of set up a perimeter or get a better view there are um ladders that descend and um what are they called man uh fire ladders not manholes fire Fire escape fire escapes on on most buildings some are just completely ripped off some some building uh uh walls are just entirely caved in um metal burden is amongst the aesthetic but certainly much better than than most of these other places around here um go ahead and roll a d10 for me are you trying to go in right now no okay hold on five uh, Metal Burden has gotten a bit of a name for itself. That's how it's gotten a lot of its. That's how it's stayed in business for for this long. It's uh, actually been out of business for a while, but it was successful back in the day. And you guys have just been keep upkeeping it for your sort of like base of operations. That's a bit more high profile, but more easily defensible than where you currently are. Um, and so yeah, it's just doing a little bit better. And we'll say that because it was doing a little better, you have a thousand credits. Oh, look at me. Which can get you a soda. Ooh. Wow. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Inflation. Credits. <laughs> so, do we have a plan for going in here? Do you have a back door to your shop, maybe? I, I, I yeah. forget. I forget. Yeah. 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 We get the, the the oil oil door oil trap. <laughs> Keep it down there. That you o- that oil door for some reason. <laughs> trap. Do you all have a that door? That oil door trap. Yeah. Just lower door. What, what about this car? Lower door on it. Come on. <laughs> you got a lower door on everything. What are you talking about? <laughs> uh, I, can, I can sneak into most places. Yes. Uh, so, me since I would have like grown up around here, like can I get a good? Like I would I would be like I would know where like, a good. Overwatch spot would be. Yes. Um, so the the closest three story building is one right across the street from the 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 stairwell that you guys exited out of. Um, 
it's the it's the first three story building. It's like every fifth building is a three story building, and it has the best view that you know of around. Um, yeah. Right, I'm gonna I'm gonna call okay. everybody up. Okay. Hey, 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 get up here! I'm on the third story. Get over, get over here! I'm gonna ping my location. Your family could be in there. I know. We gotta go in. We gotta. I'm going yeah, stupid, family? Link. Oh my goodness! I, Guess was, I was going under the assumption that his family wasn't there. My mom's like fried, put inside. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, I do have a slight plan. I mean, I could activate my car's alarm, maybe, or if, yeah, it's, sir, if, it's, if it still works. Don't know how many are in there. Your but... car systems are down. Ah, uh, yeah. So, if it's, yeah, never mind. That does not. It's it, it. new plan. Let's not use that and go somewhere else. <laughs> Nitra, can you ask the deep? Ned. 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 Deep, Ned. Deep Ned. Deep Ned. Deep Ned. Deep Ned. Right? Yeah. Deep the, the deep stream. The deep stream. The DS. <laughs> if they've seen how many are in there. Like how many rolled into this place? What so how this works? <laughs> if any, if anybody's from District WL five. Really mean Jeffy from Washington. I, so this is me, this is me basically asking you to like aside from people in or on our live stream, can she just like roll to talk to you essentially to get like whether or not she? Ooh, that could be confusing for the stream, but let's do it right now. <laughs> what? It, how well, about? Because they wouldn't so, they wouldn't know how many people. Could you were be in the there. cloud? And they're the stream or something like you're the cloud of information. You're just the guy in the sky. <laughs> it's the dark cloud. <laughs> so, uh, so like the realistically, the only two that would be connected the to the deep Google. stream or no is is her and myself. Like I, it would be okay for me to slightly break the fourth wall to give them an opportunity to engage. But in this case, we'll think that one through a little bit more because the the difference between just getting j- information from me and getting suge- suggestions from the chat. Might be a little bit difficult to. Oh, maybe we dance should around. call them something different then. Yeah. Like one is like people who are actively watching, and then maybe another one is like her league of hackers who may have like you know cotton wind of what was going on and checked it. So on the yeah, there'll be the deep stream and then the deep net. So okay, ask so the deep net, like do some research on the deep net. Um, and so yeah, what would you like to find out? I'm contacting my hacker list now. See if anybody's tapped the surveillance. They can get us how many people are in there. Winslow, if you're on the top, go ahead and give me a perception roll. What do I roll? <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> that would be... I would say interface okay. or intelligence. So special and interface or intelligence and like local expert maybe. 13. Thirteen. Okay. Um, you see on the highest buildings, the ones, the kind of one that you are on right now. You are very lucky that there's not a somebody on there with you. As you look down towards your shop and you see that there is one individual standing out outside of it. Their colors are uh, red and uh, white. And um, some, like the guy, the, the person standing outside has very thick armor on and is holding this like metal rod with a bunch of different mechanisms on it. Uh, that's a, the best that you can tell. Seems highly cybernetic if the if the rumors say that these are humans it's hard to tell um it also seems like a lot of these mechanisms are you've never seen them before uh like self-made a lot of the people on the roofs you can see there's like a drone with them um and you also spot a few drones say two outside of your shop um it seems like there's a light uh, perimeter around here. Um, yeah, so one person guarding the, the, the majority of the building, um, which is fully locked down, and then two people on on buildings uh, 
like one is about 50 meters away, the other is about 75 meters away. One about 75 meters away isn't keeping his eyes on uh, on uh, Metal Burden at all. Uh, can I, is there like, can I like paint them? Can I paint the targets, so like all these? Uh, yeah, let's see, sure. Yeah, you cool. guys get that. Uh, I just like swipe it up to everybody, like, check it out, look at all the targets, look at the drones. I don't think we're gonna be getting in stealthily. Not without taking somebody out. Natural information, but no style in your delivery. Can you hack the drone? Okay. Substance of style of substance. You do know your own security terminal, um, which is by the the back door, uh, on the opposite side of where the 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 person you saw was was standing. But you didn't get a good look of what's over there because it's out of your view. All right, I'm gonna. I can I can take him out and then we can go to the back door. You'll have access to the security. Yeah. Take that that be the plan. What can your security system do once I hack it? Explode. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. So what what you know from manipulating, uh, surfing, uh, fighting uh, different security systems is that when you have reworked a security terminal or system you have power over effectively like what what it controls so if it's been taken over by somebody else they could implement whatever measures they want in it so it's it's not only the potential of what it w already was for uh the metal shop metal burden but it could be something different it's it's not guaranteed that you'll only encounter the functions that that he knows of. So you're saying like I'll encounter black guys or whatever. Maybe. Put in there? This is a this is a technical gang, for all intents and purposes. I rolled a nine on that one roll that you asked me to do to ask uh, the deep net if if anybody has any info on how many people went into Metal Burden if they saw anything happen. Security cameras hacked. Can't get any information. <laughs> I have a voice. Difficult. <laughs> a text to voice application <laughs> for my web. <laughs> yeah. Research. Uh, yeah. No, they they couldn't come up with anything. It was uh, this. It's ever since a few days ago. The being able to get into any security system or camera system. It's very rare that anybody will succeed with the influence of uh, the remnants of dust. I see. Can you hack that drone? If I'm within six meters of it, yes. How far away is it? There are, if you guys are still huddled, over, if you guys have like taken up uh, uh, a positioning inside of the building that Winslow is in, about six, Actually, about 150 yards plus. 150 yards is is metal burden. Plus is on top of the buildings. So it's like uh, 200 meters up. Oh. And then the other one you can't <laughs> see. You only see two drones. Oh, wow. I was picturing like two-story buildings. There are mainly one-story and two-story buildings. The three-story buildings in the vicinity, there are only three of them. And so it's the one that uh, uh, Winslow is on. It's the one five buildings ahead on the corner of the street, uh, checking the checking most of the perimeter. And actually, give me a stealth check, everybody. Don't mind if I do. Hmm. The evasion. Yeah, uh, Dex plus yeah. stealth, They're not busy. not evasion. Isn't that? Seventeen. Yeah, isn't evasion stealth here? I don't have stealth. I'll have evasion. Oh, then just do dex. Yeah, it's dexterity and dexterity evasion. Uh, you would just take the your roll then. Yeah, you don't Wait, is that right? Anything. You would do dex and your roll. Well, that is if you're don't. proficient in it, or if you're. Like, you no, no, you would that. just do dex and a d10. You, if you're proficient in it, you add your. Uh, stealth like number. But your stealth number is your dex. 
when you're proficient, like when you roll something, it's normally two rolls. It's the primary ability, and then it's the secondary skill. And so for this, it's just like the secondary skill is the equivalent of for fifth edition uh, proficiency. And this is at least from what I've read. You guys might know different. It might work the way that you are talking about, but. From what I know, it's like you always have decks. What so is roll it? that, and then you know that you have a pretty good. Twenty-five. Roll, you get like twenty-seven. Even if you roll. Yeah, because remember last time he was like the. Tw- <laughs> it was exactly that. It was, it was uh, rolling for twenty-seven. Um, okay, so you all sort of like stick to the shadows of your building. Look out uh, only when you're sure that that you won't be seen. Uh, Winslow is at the very top. Uh, what are you guys doing? The you only see if you are going to take a longer time to like survey the area. If you want to spend a few hours to see what like the um, the routine might be, or to get any information, you will be at a larger threat of being discovered. But you'll be more successful in understanding more about the the environment. He if doesn't. He wants to go with me. I'll go on the street level, and I'll distract one of them, lead him towards me, cut him with my blade, and then hopefully we can get him one by one. If they send out a large force, then you guys can be hit him from the side. Do but I, I see recommend you? somebody else come with me. So all of your weapons are only effective. Uh, uh, sorry, Estrella. One one moment. No are at most effective at thirty meters. On top of a building, you won't be very effective. No, no, I'm not. I said I'd go down to the street level. What I'm saying is that if if anybody's getting your back from a building, they're no, going to no, have to no. be pretty close. Well, I said we all go down to the street level. Unless somebody's got a long range weapon. Yeah, I think I'm with you about it. Okay. Do I see any cars on the street? Like empty edge cars that I think would still run maybe like even even a, even a few hundred meters? Uh, yeah, there are a few parked on the side. Most of them are sort of like uh, binded up or locked or like it's this since this is a dangerous area, most of them are either completely ransacked and useless, their tires are gone. Or they are secured with like plates around the outside, like a ghetto Batman Batmobile. That's good. Nestra, do you think you could hack any one of those cars and maybe just send it slightly towards towards Metal Bird and not don't crash into it if that's Winslow's place? I don't want to disturb that, but just drive it towards. Just drive it towards. Really? No. Shape chargers. I'm gonna be with uh, Jay. Just walk up calmly. Walk up calmly. I'm gonna. We'll uh, talk. Let's just talk. They're humans. We humans. We'll talk. I would like to you scan that. for an access then I'll point be the to the security system. Okay, roll intelligence plus perception. Okay. Or tracking, whichever one you want to do. Perception. Seventeen. Uh, you know that on most structures similar to uh, metal burnins, the security terminal is on the back of the building. Okay. I'm gonna head to the back and try to hack into the security system. But I can't move six meters away from the security system. So I need to know that you guys got my back. Straight up. Get get it back. (laughs) Go on to the front with Jay. Get it back. What are you doing? Go. It's confusing. (laughs) What? (laughs) Go in the front with Jay. Get her back. I'm going to. I'm going to. I'm going to. It's that Belter accent. I'm going to. You know what you just said? You're going to the Belter. I'm going to the front. 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 I'm if if he's on one side of the building, I'd like to be on the parallel side. So like you know, peek around the corner, and see him as he starts going, so that I stay even with him. Does that make sense? So you're like on the back side, he's in the front. 
Could I ask him for some? Uh, <laughs> no, we're both on the front, but parallel. Like, let's say this piece of paper is a building. We're yeah. like this. We're walking like this. And so I'll you're on one it. side of the street. He's on the other. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, but I will be trying. He's he's walking out calmly. Yeah, I'm gonna be. Out. I'm gonna yeah, be stealthful. You okay? Roll, Actually, roll stealth I? check. Cool. Um, Just to let you guys know, I have no stealth, so this is. I, won't do I don't like check. how far <laughs> I'm getting from him. Can I try and uh, scope out the building that's between us? There's no. There's not a building between you. There's a street between you. Oh. You said if you're if that's the building, you're on this side and he's on no, the no, other. Sorry. Side. So like, let's say these are these are streets. This is the building. I'm on one side of the building. If this is the building, he's on the other. Oh, okay. Um, but I'd like to be in this building if possible. And uh, I rolled a uh, twenty-one. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So what it sounds like is that um, it's pretty easy. from your plan. <laughs> Uh, Netra is going by herself along the back, the opposite of, of Jay. Um, Astrea is strolling right up and talking to somebody, and Winslor is doing the same thing. <laughs> this is a very cohesive... Told you to go get her back. Yeah, but he said, fuck you, and yeah. decided to talk to the person. You were like, go to the front door, go and get her back. Go to the front door. No, you said, no, play back this. You literally said, go the front door. You're in the building opposite of Metal Burden. You are behind the series of building, buildings that, that Metal Burden is uh, in uh, in line with. Winslor is, has not been seen just yet, and Estrella, a large cylindrical um, device is pointed at you with this red canister on the back of this this red armored uh, highly technical uh, individual after he he points this the staff down and aims it at you uh, and says where do you think you're going I just wanted to talk <laughs> I got no interest for, for words with you. This is the territory of the remnants of dust. You better make dust and get away from here before I make you dust. I thought you... And squirt her. You're on the opposite side of the street. Are we, like, so close to them now that I can't cross the street stealthily? Or to be you, on the You other cannot... Way? It is very difficult to cross a street that is being surveyed by both a drone and a and a now alerted individual uh yeah you're gonna have to go a few blocks away in order to do that effectively which will take a certain amount of time okay then i'm gonna um i'm gonna go to like the opposite corner where they're at and then just start carving up the side of a wall trying to try to <laughs> <laughs> bring, trying to basically make noise uh, and take the take their attention off of these guys. That when they're my goal is to try and get. Away, so you hear as you burst out of the window of the the Bursting building away? opposite. No, no, no. Out of no, no, the no, building no, no. opposite. I'm in inside the building. Yeah, no, you burst out of the building and are scraped. Wait, are you revealing I'm yourself? No, no, I'm inside the building. I didn't, I didn't leave. You said that that is a dumb plan, basically, because it's being surveyed. So I, I'm staying inside the building and just scraping up the inside wall that I'm closest to. But I moved to the opposite okay. wall from them. Are they like paying attention to me? Like, Are they like zoomed in on me or no? The finger gets pointed to the ear again, and now the drone starts to go out. The grate of uh, metal burden opens up. Two individuals come out, and they start... One starts running towards you. One starts going after you. The other starts, uh, the, the person who is there is still looking around as the drone is surveying the area. Uh, you have a few seconds before uh, they, you know, who knows what. I'm putting my machete uh, away, grab my shotgun, uh, kneeling, not kneeling, but like putting my back up, like kneeling down, putting my back up against the wall and waiting until I hear sound, uh, like footsteps come close to me, in which case I'd like to prepare to basically stand up and shoot. My shotgun at at uh, if it's if it's an enemy, shoot the enemy. If it's Winslow or uh, 
try to egg the if I, if I pass her. If not, I just want to egg the guards closer towards me, I guess. While slowly picking up the pace to get away from them at the same time. <laughs> if you pull your shotgun out, I'll, I'll pretend to be like, Whoa! Yeah, and, and I'm, I'm going to try to really evade good. them. Not being stealthy, just evade them. <laughs> I have no stealth. <laughs> We're all going to die so fast. Quickest <laughs> campaign. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, man, this is really shitty, but this is the main thoroughfare right here. This is the, uh, the, the T, the corner. This is where the, you saw the guy with the drone is. This is Metal Burden. This is Jay. Uh... This is Netra. This is you, Estrella, walking down the street this way towards Winslow, which I had described previously. Yeah, yeah, so, if, so if I pass her, that means, I, yeah, I do, I, do, I, I do pass her? Yes, you do pass her. Yeah, so if they, like, if, as I pass her, I'm like, I want to, like, like, pull my shotgun out, like, to, like, ah, I mean business! And, like, I guess she's going to, like, pretend to be like, oh, bystander, and they're going to go ask me, and I'm going to, yeah, go a little further out, like, okay. <laughs> trying to um, lead them away, basically. <laughs> so you're going to fake intimidate Netra? Kind of, I guess. Just like and run and then, past her, so she's like, "Oh two shit!" Walking like up a... right behind him. Yes. I walk. I'm just. Ba -ba. Everybody, roll initiative. As you pull out a shotgun, <laughs> roll dexterity, roll dex <laughs> plus evasion, because the person on the roof shoots at you. Oh my! You God. shotguns through the shotgun shells through the wall as it starts just lighting up whatever the fuck that is. Nobody's taking chances anymore. Um. Uh, yeah, roll, um, initiative plus, sorry, reflex plus, uh, 1d10 is your initiative roll. Okay. Welcome to K, wow. <laughs> 23, I guess? Join us yeah, next time as we have to re-roll new characters. 23 for the evasion of 23, okay. I have five for evasion? Yeah, dexterity. Uh, in this, we'll see how this works, but it, because uh, we might change it. This, uh, we roll initiative every single round. Oh, really? Wow. Yes, so. It's a lot of initiative rolling, <laughs> dang, why? Okay, um, so. Uh, roll a uh, dex evasion. Roll a dex, uh, um, J. Roll a dex evasion. Right. What'd you get? Oh, 21? Yeah, 20, okay. 23. Okay, 23. Oh, dex evasion? Yes. Uh, not you. You're still uh, fine. They have not gotten towards you yet. You are still, in all intents and purposes, concealed. No, you didn't, because they shot first. You don't get... We're waiting until your turn. Um, what did everybody get... For actually, we are going to simplify this a bit. Uh, who rolled highest for initiative? I got a seven, two. 15. You rolled a what? A nine. Okay. Reflex plus d10. So you go. Ne uh, I'm sorry, actually, not next. Oh, reflex plus d10. Did I already roll? I think I already rolled that. Yeah, as a a sniper round rips through your cloak and into your side and through and impacts the uh, the uh, the sidewalk, ripping up tiles uh, in front of my favorite cloak. Uh, just just barely grazing you, just like in and in and out of your side. Um, uh, they are going to go again. My favorite, my, my favorite. So. <laughs> Roll reflex plus dex plus 1d10. Reflex plus dex plus 1d10. Reflex plus dex? So we're doing two main skills or two main... Uh... Yeah. I guess I was, I was wrong about that. <laughs> we're all rolling. I, I'm, I wrote down all the rules in like a cheat sheet to my right, so... So that would mean I get... That would 31. be... Yeah. Oh, wait. No, sorry, 21. That would be 23. Okay, the second round of shotgun shells because they effectively got surprise on you guys by taking the first shots, and they also rolled tens on their natural rolls. Uh, the second round just rips through the concrete. Add what's your armor? Fifteen. 
add three to your armor. Add three? So 18? Because of the wall in front of you that's, oh, being, that's being disintegrated. Uh, f- oh, okay. So 18 points. So the shotgun shells explode a portion of the wall out. Light spills in. They spark along the small sort of uh, pellets of the shotgun rounds. Just spark and slide across your own sort of natural cybernetic uh, plating uh, straight through your clothing. Uh, You take no damage because 18 is what it's currently at, right? Yeah. Okay, another round as you hear this very audible deep Again, um, I lost some dice. Shit! Let's count those as ones. We'll do ones. We'll do ones. Twenty. Your SP. So fourteen. You take six points of uh, damage. Uh, as another bullet rips through higher, closer in through your torso. <laughs> them, like, okay, <laughs> murder them. We've taken over this, this like martial law. No, I said I was walking away and then he, he chased me, so I pulled the gun out because he was chasing me. So, like, why Nobody was chasing no you. Was yeah, you said he said he was following me. Just now I said that. No, he gave you a little scare, and then as you were walking away, you're like, you know what? Shotgun. <laughs> and then I, they're just like, oh, he uh, literally was see. like, if he's following me, then I'll pull my shotgun out. No, I thought you were pulling no. your shotgun out no, to like intimidate her. Yeah, you I wasn't a lot pulling of out commotion. to intimidate her. It's like, it doesn't intimidate her but, as I pull uh, it out. But none of it is, is towards you. I guess you guys just don't get it. Okay, <laughs> so uh, next up is, uh, actually, Wait, is sorry, they're going to, they, they somehow managed to roll low, in, what is, uh, I'm sorry, roll another reflex plus uh, dexterity. Twenty-three. I think that's what it was last time. Yeah, I think so. Uh, your your wavy uh, cloak behind you feels this immense heat just tickling the back as the tip of the flamethrowers, uh, which now this is revealed to be uh, 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 length, is just barely hitting your back, and you. Uh, have just enough time to sort of like curl around, gather a lot of the flames on your cloak, and throw them to the side before stepping back. Uh, you took no damage right now, but there is a flamethrower and a sniper trained on you. Winslow, you're not feeling very comfortable. How we're going to do this is, Jay, you're up, and then we're going to go in a circle. How far away is the guy who just shot two rounds through the wall? You see the sh- the, the the light being obs- like is obscured as they take a step closer. You imagine they're probably not more than ten feet. They? I thought it was just one person. They is referring to one person. Okay. Um, I'm gonna do one of those like get up and and turn so that I'm now behind, hopefully not blown up wall, fresh wall, but but window, if I'm imagining this right. So I have like okay. a, a pony wall of brick and then window yeah right okay then yeah uh i'm gonna i'm gonna you know do the famous get up turn you fucked up and then shoot my shotgun at the the dude who just shot at me okay uh go ahead and roll you are yeah within 10 within 10 meters Just 10. 10 points of damage. <laughs> oh, wait, do I just... I, I oh, rolled for effectiveness and I got 10. Roll, roll reflex plus marksmanship plus d10. That was reflex plus marksmanship. I rolled a 2 for the d10 and I have 4 for both of those. Uh, it, it's, uh, the, the shot, you turn around and let your trigger go as soon as you see them, but your shotgun was pointed down a little bit as you were, like, putting your machete away and just, like, tick the side of the shotgun and send it off, (coughs) shattering the wall, but just impacting right 
next to and down uh, the uh, this individual. All right, then with my movement, I'm going to... After that, I'm going to, you know, shit, and then jump uh, to the side of the wall that's still not damaged, so, like, opposite the hole. Okay. Uh, Winslow. Cool. I'm going to come around from uh, behind the corner, kind of just, like, acquiring targets, firing, firing, but I'm going to grab Australia and kind of, like, drag her behind the wall to some cover. Grabbed by Winslow and thrown around the uh, the closest corner. You have cover now. I haven't even moved yet. I just I dragged you behind. I know, the but wall. I. You are now in cover. Remember how I said, remember how I said I was moving, then he said I didn't move, so I actually didn't move, so I'm still back to where I was. So I couldn't you couldn't have grabbed me unless you moved all the way forward. And no, he just me. said that like that you weren't being chased. Like he said a, it, yeah. so then I wouldn't be running then. <laughs> no. no so Estrella, you, were... you walked away. You walked away past the nearest building towards Metal Burden. Wasn't he following me though? He was not following you. He just held his position. Oh, then I wouldn't have he been. only followed you after you pulled out the shotgun and then started throwing flamey rain upon your body. I thought the opposite of that, so no, whatever. We'll just... Flamey rain. <laughs> uh, Winslow grabbed you, took you out of the line of fire, and now you are shoulder to shoulder with Winslow in cover. I'm going to pop back out of cover and shoot. <laughs> okay. Uh, are you shooting at the sniper or the... The flamethrower guy shotgun. Okay, go for it. Should I roll for a hit or what? Uh, roll uh, reflex yep. plus marksman plus 1d10. So that equals 25. You hit. All right. This is with a, a heavy pistol? A shotgun. Shotgun. Okay. What is the damage of a pistol? A heavy pistol is 3d6. That's all I have is an assault rifle. That's six. Six points of damage? Yep. All right. Um, you see the round slam into their uh, their their chest uh, armor and just slow to a halt inside, and it doesn't break the armor. Uh, but as you, the rules are, you hit, and so their armor is decreased next time. This is ubiquitous across this. So anytime you make a hit, anytime you are hit, your armor decreases by one. Um, okay, next up, Netra. Um, I would like to look up to see if there are any uh, like alarm sound systems on the side of the buildings at all. You know, like you know like how they have like tornado warning speakers. Yes. Are there things like that on these buildings anywhere? Uh, not on the buildings themselves, but like there, uh, there's surely a security terminal for uh, different points throughout the district, uh, evenly spread out. If that makes sense, like that would be more of a town infrastructure than a like a, a tornado warning for per building. If that makes sense. Mm. Do I see one nearby? Uh, no, because you're in the shadows of of buildings right now. But the security terminal is not far away from you. Is there anyone over there? Can I... No, there's not. I would like to head over there then to the security control panel, but uh, I would like to stay six meters away. Okay. With my back turned to the security terminal. Okay. And I would also have my phone in one hand. Like I'm chilling back there looking at my phone. <laughs> okay. But I'm actually hacking into give, the security Give me system. a free, uh, give me a free cool uh, plus persuasion roll. Oh. What? Cool plus persuasion. Where is it? I think it's persuasion is in. Oh, cool. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 15. Okay. Am I cool yet? As you look at your phone and then focus on the forefront view of your cybernetic um, net uh, 
uh, splinters under it and sort of pelts outward. And the car starts to, you hear this, and the car levitates into the air. As well as any other loose objects. Like, as the gravel shoots out from the sides, it also raises. Um, the flame, the, the shotgun guy is going to, he's utterly focused on you. He's jumping through. You hear, as he shoulder checks through the, the, the glass, rolls onto the ground, and in a laying position, chuk, chuk, looking at you in your laying position, <coughs> uh, go ahead and roll a uh, reflex plus dex. I do the worm. <laughs> Add your cool points. Yeah, I mean, feel, yeah, if you want to do that, it'll be a cool roll. Question. It says that depending on your interface level, that's how many net actions you get. And mm -hmm. under here, under jacking in or out, it says you can use it as a net action point. To jack in? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, sure. Then you have two more actions. Okay, I'll think of them and you can do your... Uh, 19. Uh, 19, you get shot. Uh, as your shotguns are pointed at each other now and you just hear... <laughs> You hear the squeeze of the trigger in the in the the sort of like slow down time where he lands onto the ground, and I'll do that again with one less because I rolled six. Eighteen points of damage. Yeah. So take minus that from your SP from your armor. Minus that from my armor. Sorry, my armor minus your armor. For, not anymore. He's on the other side. So that was in count. That was that was talking about the wall. So minus three. Uh, so so, three? It's, so three yeah, three points, points of damage. damage. Yeah. And then I take. Uh, so now I'm down to my, one from fifteen. So now I'm at fourteen yes. armor. Yeah. Um. Okay. The flamethrower bro is going to keep up he will actually you you see him like grab the side of the flamethrower turn a knob and you hear and he starts spilling out oil all across um into the alleyway spraying in in a 15 foot radius around uh astrea just spilling oil onto the ground. And he starts walking backwards as he starts to spin the dial once more. Um, that's his turn. And uh, one more comes out of the uh, of uh, Metal Burden. And uh, this one is a bit uh, more lithe of an individual, still coated in red and, and white, sort of like thin armor plating. Still hard to tell if this is a, um, if this is fully organic or fully robotic, definitely a mixture of the two, uh, with a red hood. And you see them just throw this, this, this metal black node. <laughs> Uh, which slides over uh, in between uh, Winslow and Estrella, and you hear this uh, roll a man, what would it be? Whatever is is like the strength equivalent. You can do cool if you want to. However you want, your guns and the metallic objects on your body are being pulled towards this metal node. I think it's will, like your ability to survive and adapt. Oh, strength. Um, body? Uh, it could be concentration. No, yeah, that would make sense. So will? Yeah, if you beat an 18. Am I adding this? Anything? For, uh, expert? Will is just concentration. Will and concentration. No, I don't have 
that skill. Oh, wait, yeah, I do. Okay. 19? Still don't beat it. 19? Estrella, you feel your gun being ripped from you, and you harden your, your psyche, grab onto your gun even more, pull it close to your chest as your feet start to slide from the, the force of your gun being pulled, and this shadow sort of looms over you as the car that was hanging in the air starts flying in your direction. Make a dexterity uh, uh, plus reflex, plus 1d10. They got gravity guns. Uh, Winslow, your uh, your heavy pistol is ripped from your hands and attaches to the node. It's still 22. I'll give it to you. Uh, you. You manage to slide under the car as it slams into the side of the two buildings that you're in between uh, Winslow, <laughs> rocking both of them pushing uh the and it's hard to see through the the virtual landscape into what the objective might be so that's two net actions uh can i feel it frying my brain what is happening it's not frying your brain it's obscuring oh. your perception though it's obscuring my perception um would I recognize this as is this like a, a password or something or like some sort of this blocker? is this is describing how your action sort of failed but also the sort of like the aesthetic of the landscape okay I would like to like clench both hands and be like no and then like focus harder like mm. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> use pathfinder again okay go for it flip yourself on sideways yeah oh <laughs> Will show me fourteen. <laughs> uh, some of the let me see if that passes. You know, anything, anything else besides? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna say let's dance and then get my machete out and and try and just like lunge at him and, and stab him. She's like on the ground using your cyber arm to like push you forward as you <sighs> lash out and kicking off the off the wall too. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna say add cool to that just because. Yeah. Okay. If you come up with things like that, that'll cool be like your inspiration. Oh. Ten plus. Uh, so is it melee weapon as well? Uh, let's see. Melee works. Melee combat. Uh, you ignore half the armor already, so your attacks. It's brawling pr plus. Deck. I'm sorry, melee weapon plus dex plus 1d10. Plus cool? Plus cool, yeah. You can also add your cool to your damage. Oh, really? Is what I will say. 6? 3d6? Let's see. Knife is 1d6. This will be a. So this will be a ripper, which will be 2d6. Cool. Because this is a machete. It's bigger than a knife. Plus you're cool. Yeah. Uh, 17. Uh, okay. Uh, their fate is in your hands. I'd like to plunge the machete. Uh... Yeah, like up into you said the jugular area that I yeah. was like I could I noticed when I lunged towards him. I'd like to shove it up in there and then just like go straight through, just like like push his head. Or you've separated the head from the body and they are now sort of like limp and their cybernetic components are taking a while to wind down as they're just <laughs> just like a, a side shot <laughs> discharges as the last of their um bound up musculature uh leaves them Sick. releases it's a shame you weren't a better human and then i'd like to i don't know how much i can do with with my movement or bonus do you get a bonus action i'm thinking about that depending on how this goes i'm thinking about it i'd essentially just like to you get like a free cool action i would say uh like Try and flip his his shotgun up into my my hand, so I got two shotguns now. 
Yeah, yeah sure. That's good good enough free action. Okay. And then and then just get up and and like uh I think that's really all I can do. Get behind a, a wall again. I, I'm I'd like to look for a section. You can't get behind a wall. We'll see how being sticklers with the rules to this degree works, but it it actually takes your full action to get up. So I allowed you to attack him because you're still on the ground. Oh, okay. uh, that's fine. But yeah, we'll say that you are you're at the head and you can pick up the gun next time and, and get into the <clears throat> the gun will be a free action. Uh cool. yeah. Okay, Winsler. Cool. How far away is the flamethrower guy from me behind like on the car? The flamethrower guy's like fifteen feet uh, away from you, but you have to get over the car or find an opening in the car or like jump on the, you have to like find some way to get around the car to jam it into the, oh actually you're aiming for the head yeah his eyeball what is your total roll because when you aim for the head oh. you have to you minus six from your total roll so uh if i'm adding wep or melee weapon plus my dex you are adding melee weapon plus your Yes, yes, plus your dex, plus 1d10. 10, so 10 plus dex plus melee weapon. 20. 20 minus 6. Uh, yeah, you still just barely uh, get him. So uh, it, it also ignores half armor, so he's looking really bad as he tries to like lift the flamethrower up as you see this sparking of flame, and you with your other hand just bat it to the side, wrap your legs around him, and jam it through his head. You feel nothing but meat in there uh, as the knife goes all the way through, but they are still uh, active underneath. You have one more attack. Uh, I'm going to bite his face off. Okay, so this will be a brawling yeah. one, and we'll say this just a normal, you don't have to minus six because you're on top of him. <laughs> it's a normal Winslow move. Yeah. Do you have like you have I like have a mechanical room. jaw or anything or? No. All right. That's disturbing. Uh, yeah, two ten, psychopaths in this group. <laughs> Fourteen. Oh, Four. Oh. Just wear a mask and drag your machete along the side of our Ooh, rail. What? Uh, yeah, you hit. <laughs> Uh, it's my style. Like one d four. It'll be one d six. It's it'll count as your your just brawling. Am I, am I brawling. Uh, am I just just dice plus brawling? Yeah. Uh, six points. Okay, fate is in your hands as well. Yeah, I just I eat his face. Oh my god. Eat it. Yeah, just like one like big old just chomp, and I rip it off, and I spit it on him. Oh. And I stare at the other one, just blood. Just stare at the other one with the hood. The the. Okay. <laughs> I feel like you should get like, code. like, I don't know, forever twenty points of intimidation. To all yeah, as you rip your knife off, you rip the the mask off, which is what he was wearing as well. You just rip it. You, the knife goes in so deep and hooks onto the mask. You just rip it off. Blood comes following the mask, just uh, arcing in the air as you uh, just bite into what part of the face? Eye, nose, mouth, nose. nose. Bite in oh, sideways, in fit the entire nose in your mouth, teeth insert just below the eyes on both sides, and you just rip off mm -hmm. in like the entire nose and feel the the, the guttural, visceral breaking of the bone. Yeah. Um, and they're not dead, but they are out of order. They are, you have like blood is, is pulping out of their skull as you, like some of the skin comes off with your uh, rip. This guy was actually pretty attractive too. Like this is a pretty good looking, uh, good looking, uh, got some work done. Like some Botox you taste in your, in your mouth. Who knows why you would know what that tastes like, but uh, rip off the face. They always used to kill people. Just ble bleeding and he, they've given up. My face, my beautiful face. Uh, just, just like grabbing at it as best they can. Um, okay, that's your movement and your action. Uh, flamethrower guy down. Uh, and you are looking at the the guy with the um, that shot the sort of like electromagnetic node your way. Um, Australia, you're up. If you just oh, slid a under a car, in front of me? there is the the uh, the guy with the hood, the the more thin guy that Winslow is looking at, 
that shot the the node out that oh, drew the, the car. He, the oh, I'm sorry. So, shot something. The, the sniper shot something, but it wasn't the electromagnetic magnetic node. These guys are using like different pieces of technology that you, that are pretty rare and, and it's like self made. What did the sniper shoot? The you're not quite sure. It seemed to lift almost everything in a certain radius around the bullet, around the impact point. You can use a free action to do like a tech. Yeah, we'll, 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 we'll forget that. We'll just. Uh, I'm just gonna go for the guy with the hood, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Uh, go for it. Same as last time, like 23 or something. Got yeah, you hit for sure. Oh, this is with your pistol? No, shotgun. I'm sorry, I haven't I saw the shotgun out. Okay. Thirteen. I actually just left your gun there and just fucking went knife town crazy. I <laughs> Thirteen. Uh, thirteen. Yes. Okay. Uh, shotgun rounds pelt into them. Their shoulder sort of like jerks backwards, uh, and they grab their uh their chest. Um, you have your movement. Uh, I'll get up. Just move forward, I guess. I'm. I can't go anywhere. Yeah, I'll just move closer towards him. Right? Well, I'll just move closer towards him, yeah. Okay. I will say that you take up position, like, right next to uh, Winslower, uh, who is about 10 feet in front of him. Uh, okay. Um, uh, Netra. Uh, I would like to use my backdoor ability to break through the password. Okay. Roll a... Uh, what is that? Shh. Shoot. D10. It's just a D10? Yeah. Why? That's my building, right? But they took it over, didn't they? All the all the signs that you gathered along the way were that like they had they had uh pretty much I was gonna say the password is password. <laughs> I was gonna ask it's you for the password, fish? but yeah. uh, I figured they already took it over. <laughs> I thought in the beginning you did. Oh, you told her a password? No. Uh, 15. Uh, yeah. Uh, all it, uh, the password shows up and just sort of like fills itself out as all is dust. Okay. Enter. <laughs> this, uh, sort of like, you see the dust fly up in the air. It's almost like you're lowering <laughs> in level. Um, and dust continues to plague this level as well. Um, as you see, uh, well, this... I would also like to do Pathfinder if you want to roll that into that. Yeah, go for it. Okay. Twelve. You the the dusty landscape materializes just slightly as some of the dust shifts into this almost like pulsing, angry form of this like dust specter. It's just this like shifting, like dust robed entity with long, uh, two long sort of like uh, uh, spike clawed arms. Yeah. In control? Oh, I Wow, it's like literally the enemies we fight in control. Yeah, dust, spectral dust monsters. That fly with, like, around and they're like around. this. Sure, picture that. <laughs> I am going to picture that. <laughs> um, so go ahead and roll uh, to see who goes who goes first between you and the dust specter. A uh, in uh, interface plus if you have anything that is speed plus one d ten that is the equivalent of speed um, or anything that gives you a speed attribute. Uh, there is like a program that I have, and it's like speedy. It's like Speedy Gonzalez, but it's not actually called Speedy Gonzalez. Speedy. If it gives you a number, then yeah, go for it. I 
think I have to activate it or something. Why isn't Change it? Change your here? hack speed to 1.75. Can I not print that out? Gigawatts. What? <laughs> Uh, you take nine points of damage right off the bat. Um, I'm pretty sure you're not going to beat its its uh, what is effectively the initiative roll for it. I got a twelve. Yeah, you got a sixteen. Um, so not only does it take its first turn, it takes its second turn towards you as well. So you take nine points of of damage. Is there? I forget. Is there any like armor that you have inside of the net? I don't know about in the net, but mine is a body weight suit. No, this is straight up dome damage. Oh. <laughs> uh, so you take an, an, an ex another four points of damage as the specter just <laughs> uh, rips across the ground towards you, dust collecting in its uh, in its claws, extending them even farther, <laughs> just ripping you up with one arm and then another arm. Um, and you feel it all in your psyche, just like ah, underneath the headset. So is this? So I would just take that directly from starting hits. Yes. Okay. I think it's thirteen points total. Is this the equivalent to a hellhound? This is the equivalent to a hellhound. Yes. Okay. No. What's the name of the song again? Behold us. No, it's not. Uh. Can't kill us. Uh. No, I'm sorry, Into the Labyrinth. I want to create enemies. Can I use my last point to jack out of the system? <laughs> uh, yes, you can. <gasps> cool. <laughs> Okay. And now I know there's a hellhound in it. <laughs> yeah, all right. You just rip it. Yeah. Uh, sort of like seeing it, it being your turn, being assailed by this thing, seeing that it's a bit more uh, hefty and secure than you were quite prepared for. You, uh, you, you jack out of the main gun frame. Uh, okay, so... The sniper, we will roll for that one, because quite a, some of you are in view now. Actually, it's just... Uh, Winslow, roll a reflex, uh, roll a reflex plus uh, dex plus 1d10. What was it again? Reflex plus dex plus 1d10. Okay. Uh, twenty. Uh, the uh, your a good portion of your sort of like uh luminescent rainbow shifting uh collar just gets shot right off. <laughs> Part of it unsnapping and arcing around your shoulder to the other side as a good portion of your shoulder pauldron is just ripped to shreds that you guys both tied. And so you take no damage, but you're like on your knees over this this bleeding, em emasculated man. Uh, your shoulder rips back as this caliber, this 50 caliber round impacts the, the sidewalk behind you, <laughs> shattering concrete and sparkling over you, but that's, you You managed to survive. The um, the guy with the hood is going to, uh, he takes a few of those nodes and throws them down along the ground in front of him, and you, uh, you see the ground get ripped up and create this barrier in front of him that leads into the, uh, that, that, ch -ch 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 leads all the way to the uh, to metal burden. And so you see this like obscured shadow sh 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 shift between the broken sort of like concrete pieces that have obscured his view or your view and they're running uh, into the uh, into the building. 
sniper. Oh, man, I always forget like one thing during combat. You guys don't need to know about that. Um, okay, mm -hmm. so you are up, Jay. Um, oh, I guess I'm gonna use my action to get up. Free action to flip that shotgun into my other hand. Um, and yeah. Can I, is, is that I'm trying to separate player knowledge from my, or character knowledge? Do I see the, the, the barrier that was put up? Like, is it in between me and, and, uh, you see, you, you're just on the other side of it. So, so you, is it, is you it... see, you see the, the person throw down these four nodes, the nodes pull in the concrete and almost like stack it on top of each other and you see them like the first few feet of them disappear running down the sorry running down the um the line of it but then they are they're obscured quickly after mm -hmm. but but it, it only puts up a barrier like how like I, I do i have clear line of sight of metal burden or is it just clearing their line of sight you have a clear line of sight of like the not so much no the 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 concrete barrier is obscuring a good portion of the front of it okay then i'd like to is it an action because i'd like to hurdle out the window um and then get up against that barrier that'll be a free action okay then yeah, I'll pretty or much for a movement, your movement. assume the position that I had in the building, up but up against that that concrete wall, and then is that it for things that I can do? No, you have an action. Oh, I thought I thought you used an action to get up. No, you had already used that action to get up. Oh, okay. In the previous um, round, get up attack. I, because at this point I don't. I've now just gotten outside. Does it make sense to use a, like a, I don't know if it's called a perception check, but I'd like to just take a look around the, uh, what is now a battlefield to see what my next move will be. Sure, give me a pers in an, uh, Oh yeah, I think it's- Intelligence, intelligence. perfect, uh, perception. Seventeen. Uh, you you hear movement inside of Metal Burden, and you still know that the sniper is alive. As like while you're running past, you saw the the sort of glimmer off of their scope. Did not know. Well, I Jay did not know about the sniper. Um, is. Which which direction is he from me? Am I in his? If your side? back is on the concrete wall, uh, metal burden is to your left and back. They are to your right and back, about four buildings and up three stories. So I'm a clear line of sight. You're kind, yeah, you're kind, you're pretty clear line of sight. Like you, the the barrier that's in front of you will help increase your own roll. It'll like add three to your to your roll in armor, but you're yeah. You like you, you put you press your back against, notice the sniper wall running out, and then look at the floor where you just see like huge potholes um from from fifty caliber rounds. Wow. Um okay. I uh I still I should still have movement left, right? And you also see Winslow with a bloody ass mouth and the face ripped off and bleeding from the person under him. Probably not anything new for you. Dear God, Winslow. Uh, I'd like to to run, put put something between me and that sniper. You've already used your movement to hop well, over the wall. Oh, and... I thought that was a free action. No, no, I said it was a movement action afterwards. Is it? Was, yeah, it was your free action to get up the, to get the gun. And then I did mention it was a free action, but then re realized that was kind of ridiculous. So, okay. Anyway, you perceived well, Winslow. You're up. That's me. I can't like see where the sniper is 
Yeah, you can see. You are not in any cover from the sniper. Yeah, I know that. And yeah. I can see the sniper. Yeah. I dart towards him. Like, I kick off from the body using the, the booster legs to accelerate my speed towards him, towards the buildings up. Okay, we'll... S Hold on, let me... I need to uh, look something up here. Oh! So... No! Okay, so how many how many squares does it say you can move? Like, what's your what's your movement? We wouldn't say that. I don't know. I don't have a character sheet. <laughs> Anybody? There's no movement. What do, There's what no are you movement looking speed. For? Hmm. The sheets we have are very very basic. So like... move six maybe. So you have, so six means squares, squares means meters, so that's 12 meters, wait, six squares, two meters, yeah, 12 meters. Uh, we'll say that you can, with your piston legs, you can move triple your distance if you also use an action. So you'd be able to get to the base of the building, which is three stories with your full action, because there are four buildings down. All right, yeah. All right. Uh, yeah, just darting forward, uh, going through the wall of, of suspended yeah. concrete, uh, right through, uh, running forward and just coming to a halt in the shadow of the building. And you just see the rifle, uh, uh, coming over the edge and just look up about 30 feet high. So, um... It'll take quite a bit to get up there, either by traditional means or climbing or whatever you want to do. Uh, Australia, you're up. So he's trying to get to the sniper, I guess. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, do I see anybody in front of me in, in the way to the shop I get, uh, at all? No, you did see the the person that you shot at lift up the concrete, making a, a wall, and then sort of like their shadow uh, passing the this thin seams between the concrete into the shop. Yes, yeah, so, so I saw him going to the shop. Yes. Uh, so I'm going to go up to the door of the shop and peek in to see if I can see him. It's like my shotgun ready. ready. And if I see him, shoot at him. OK, the shop is still closed. They're like opening and, and shutting a door as they come out and in. Oh, uh, I thought the shutters, the, shut, the shutters opened up, though. Just to let one person out. Oh, then they closed again? Yeah. Okay, then I guess uh, I'll just go up to the door and stack up on it, I guess. And then... Wait, does it open it in? Does it open in inwards or outwards? Opens outwards. I guess I'll open it and kind of get cover from the sniper a, a little bit. <laughs> but that's, that's about all I can do, yeah. Okay. Um, go ahead and roll. I'm not attacking or anything. Oh, I know. This is something happening to you. Um, no, you're fine. Uh, Netra, you're up. I didn't ask about this earlier because I didn't actually know about it. <laughs> but would I have any healing, speed healing drugs on me? Speed healing drugs on you. Uh, no, you guys would have to procure those. Okay. We'll say you guys have one amongst the group. I'll roll a d4, and one, two, three, four, whatever it lands on, will be who has it. Three. Jay has it. <laughs> uh. Am I really far from them right now? You'd be one move action away. From you, you see, uh, you see Jay stacked up against the wall as you peek your head around the corner, and the wall is is clean parallel with the the side of the uh, metal burden, and um, you just saw <laughs> Windslord just dish, 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 through the wall and Estrella run and uh, take up place on the other side of uh, the building. 
And what are our options if we die? <laughs> like, is there like a med team that comes and gets us? Or do we have a chance of coming back? So you can do a uh, four. You do have death saving throws. The downside to this game is if you fail one, you're dead for forever. Um, you can do a first aid check if you have first aid or whoever does have first aid can do it to you if you don't. But that first... Nobody has first aid? I have first aid. You have first aid? Uh, in that case, I will stealthily make my way over to Jay. Okay. Uh, go ahead and roll a stealth check. Eighteen. Okay. Um... Yeah, pretty good. We'll see. <laughs> All right. Um, okay, next up uh, is are them. So... Uh, J, add three, but roll a um, uh, reflex plus dex plus uh, 1d10. Including the plus three? Yeah. Uh, okay, uh, 20 total points of damage as it rips through the concrete uh, barrier. This is subtracted from my armor. From your armor, yes. So it's six points because yeah. I have 14. Add, add another three to your armor because of the wall. So the three will add oh. to your roll and your armor. Okay. Again, very impromptu house roll. Um, cool. So I, yeah, got it. I lost my razor. Uh, <laughs> what? What happened to it? Look. Just erasing a lot? No. Flew off somewhere? It's that? so crazy. Yeah, like, it anyway. like the same shit. Yeah, I've never seen that before, but it made it made me really like this Dungeons and Dragons pencil, and then very much not like it. Sorry to interrupt. Uh, okay. no the, the health has been reduced. <clears throat> what just happened to me? A sniper round ripped through the concrete yeah. into your shoulder. Uh, it The concrete mitigated some of the damage, but not all of it, of course, and uh, pushed you forward five feet just from the sheer force of the, the, the sniper round hitting you. It, it rolled pretty high. Um, yeah, so you just take that amount of damage, and that's that's it. But the portion you look behind you as you're gripping your uh, your uh, cybernetic shoulder and it's a it's a it's about a five foot radius that's been ripped through the concrete that's still being suspended. So the concrete wall is still there. There's a five foot radius missing from where you just were from the bullet impacting through. Why are you looking like it's confusing? What are you confused about? Um, I'm just trying to like like in my mind put together where the sniper is, where the wall is, where I'm at. Um, and you said go forward, but I was like, wait, in my mind I should go backwards. So maybe I'm picturing it wrong. Your back was against the wall. Oh, forward from like... From like the literal definition of forward from where you're facing. I see what you mean. It's, to me, like <laughs> forward is, is the... I got you, I got you. Okay. Um, uh, okay. Uh, next, oh, sh next up... So I can assume now then that he can see through concrete or just he just guessed where I was. You see, so imagine like uh, a, a, a spider cracked glass window, but it's concrete and well, not, not necessarily. Like the, the concrete is like 
is just thrown together and held up by a device that seems to just bring this concrete together and form a wall. There's, so there's like uh, perforations, there's seams, like the concrete is not fully seamed together. Oh, it's like okay. hanging in the air. So that's why I, I described the, the... So it's like half, half concealment, full cover. Yeah. Got it. Okay. Barely any concealment, full cover. Oh. Got it. Um... Next, nope. Uh, yeah, nobody is up next. Estrella, you hear some like coming from inside of the building. Beep, beep, beep. Okay. Uh, Jay, you're up. Um. So it goes from my view. If there was like. A camera facing me it would be like me the wall uh, metal metal burden and then the sniper on a building like behind metal burden so I'm trying to uh, surmise if, if I move closer to metal burden so here's here's the here's the street here's metal burden Here's the sniper. Here's the wall. Here's you. Does that make sense? Uh, you guys have always been approaching from down the street this direction. The sniper's up here, about four buildings away, and three stories up. Gotcha. I just, I guess, I was and confused on the orientation. And Winslow is at the base of this building. Got it. Um, and you also see Netra sort of like crawling it, her way. My ears are bleeding. Yeah, if he's if he's down the street, uh, do, do I need to do a perception check to? to I, basically, I want to know if if I move in like closer to the building where she is, if I'm now behind cover because because I want, yes you are oh cool 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 then I'm gonna use my movement to uh yeah run over uh on the other side of the wall and. And heal up. I wouldn't see her immediately, but that would be my immediate action. Is to... You would see her immediately. You're on the same side of the wall as her. No, I mean, like, I wouldn't know before I moved to heal her. But oh, as I soon see, as yeah. I see her, I, that's what I'm going to do is bust out the. Oh, right. The, you said it was a quick, fast healing medicine? Uh, yeah, I don't know what you she's have talking that, about. But you, I think you also have first aid. I just looked up, like, how do you heal in cyberpunk? 2020, and it said that there are fast healing drugs you can buy mm. uh, in the world, and one of them's called like nanotech or something. That would make sense. Well, healing drugs are not. I'd have them. We um, do have first aid. Which is more effective? I don't know. Healing don't drugs know or first aid? First, first aid is actually like a long term. Uh, use that you would do after combat. Like, the more successful your first aid, or if you have a successful first aid, you heal over days. And so it's like, after th after today, you're going to have to rest if you just do first aid. Wow. It's, it's literally like, I have tended to the wound, and now I need to rest. And I'll accumulate points over a certain amount of time equal to my first aid skill. Let's gotcha. See. Then I'll, I'll just use the, the quick heal... There are so many different The quick types. healing medis drugs. <laughs> can, I, can we picture it as a, as a thing from Half-Life Alex? Yes, exactly the thing from Half-Life Alex. Thing, the syringe needle, and the needle goes out. And then I slam it. And he he like, pulls out a little locker and, and affixes a <laughs> cylinder with a little crying baby uh, uh, oh, that's... like maggot thing. Oh, and, no, and then he no, says, put that, your hand in it. Not the, oh, no, man. I know. I'm just saying. That's that's a <laughs> that's more entertaining thing. Yeah. Happening. Hold on. Gross. It's got the audio on yeah. Oh, I do. Um, Trip me out. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stab her with the, the quick healing drug and then, and then toss it just like in Half-Life, Alex. Okay. Um, and then I'm gonna just do a normal healing potion. Two, two <laughs> d, two plus two d six. 
I'll roll one, you roll one. Oh, okay. We'll figure this out. <laughs> nah, screw it. Hey, look at that. Teamwork. Like... I need to fix my... <laughs> oh, we're going to say it does. Wow, that healed me up, actually. Look at that. What was it? She rolled something, and then I rolled, and it, like, knocked <laughs> hers so that we both have five. <laughs> Can I sure. It? Yep. Twelve yes. points. It wasn't yes. even fully settled yet. Ye you guys are both looking at each other like, "Is this working?" Oh. And she's kind of freaking out a little oh. bit, but then she feels better. It's like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I'm completely healed. <laughs> I've never done that before. I can go right back in and get killed by a hellhound. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay. Uh. I, wait. Wait, I'm gonna use. Can I? Uh, or is that my full action? That's your full action. Do I have any more movement? No. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. That's me. <laughs> Winslow. <laughs> I'll, right. uh, I'll sit in front of you, though. If that makes You guys sense. are behind cover. You guys are, are pretty oh, safe. Yeah. Oh, okay. What? Okay. All right, I'm going. I'm making my way inside the field. Keep okay. finding the stairs. Okay. Can I free Nothing action? Up for you to I'm do. Sorry. Can I free action just to just to to slam the other uh, shotgun in her hands? I have a gun. You have a shotgun. I have a heavy pistol. Take the he take the shotgun. <laughs> okay, fine. Take this. Yeah, sure. Uh. Sorry. Just want to get rid of that. Yeah, extra movement. Bonus, bonus action. I start digging. <laughs> I'll start I'll slashing the ground. Right. I'm done. I'm done. Sorry. All right. I'm making my way inside the building, finding the staircase, and I'm jumping up the first floor. <laughs> That'll be your full action. To, to make you can make it in. to the second floor. Yeah. Okay. Because it's like ta it's entering the building, going, finding the staircase, taking one staircase up. Yeah, we'll it. say that you just cool. break through with your piston leg. That's one. You know, free movement. Yeah, you get to the second floor. Yeah, Next time you'll be there. Okay. Uh, Astrea, you are in the doorway and you hear something coming from inside of the shop. So he just went to the roof. The, the, he's under the building with the snipers on. Yeah. I'm not. I'm on the second level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you're on the second level. Not, 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 not in the shop. You're on the building. The sniper point. Yep. Yeah. I guess I'm just gonna shoot my shotgun into the door. I'm not, I'm not gonna even look in, look in there. I'm just gonna point in there and shoot. Okay, roll a uh, cool. Just roll a cool plus d10. Unless there's some way, if, unless there's something else that's like uh, intimidation or something like that. Eleven. My game gallery just punched. Yes. Oh, it's from last night. If that's a really cool sick thirty sick the pixel art pixel art one. There we go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, the last night. Mm. Okay. Um, you don't hear much. You just hear the pelting of of uh, uh, pelts on uh, little bullets on metal mm. in a metal shop. So you turn, you turn your hand in inside and just discharge the gun. Uh, Netro, you're up. <laughs> uh, sorry, <laughs> spaced out hard. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Get off the net. <laughs> um, and you just got healed. And I got a shotgun. And you got a shotgun. How much damage does the shotgun do? 5d6. Pretty hefty. Uh, can I, like, go above cover really fast and see if there are any enemies that I can shoot at? There's a sniper, but you, but none of your guns that. would oh. effectively be able to make it there. But do we know where he's at? Uh, like, can we see the general direction? Yeah, he's pretty out. It's like a large barrel sticking off a roof on the opposite side, but they're, like, about a... At this point, in between like 150 and, um, they're far away. Too far away for your guns to make it. <laughs> flip trick? <laughs> Should we infiltrate the building? Highlight that in the stream. Let's I'm wait gonna... here. Oh. 
if anybody comes out. <laughs> Should we go in there? Yes. Let's wait here. <laughs> the life on the edge. No, I said take, take the shotgun. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's, move, let's wait for our party. Isn't he already going in? He's on. No, he's he's, he's going after the sniper. I'm wickedly away from you. I'm going Pay after the sniper. People. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. We post up by the doorway. Anybody comes in, we blast them. I'm ready. Here comes our blast. I've never shot a shotgun before, but I'll certainly try. And she shoots. Uh, can I <laughs> hold my action? Do is that a thing in this world? Uh, we'll say that you can. Oh, I just realized we haven't been rolling every round for no, initiative. Not. That's been much easier, to be honest. Uh, I may just do away with that. I got time point. for that. Yeah. Um, I'll just be like, Blamo, you're up next. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, we'll say that you can hold your action, sure. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> uh, so you're posted. Are you moving towards the main door? <laughs> so what so to, to post up to the main next to the main door you will be within view of the sniper oh wait i'm so confused are you confused no i'm con uh i think he like so basically we just need a map <laughs> but like in front of us at all every, i feel like i picture three-fourths of what's actually there and then the 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 Missing element is is the one thing that puts. I us in I'm very. It's three fourths is an optimistic estimate for you. Uh, <laughs> three four hundreds. Okay, so. Okay, Mister has been confused this entire game. Got oh, I just wrote the page. I was just quoting the name of an episode. Okay, so, so so, this is the this is the concrete wall, this is metal burden, this is the sniper location, although farther down. This is you two. This is the main entrance. Does this make oh, sense? Oh, I just assumed that there was an entrance on the side of the wall that we're on. So In an alleyway? Not, no, there's not. Makes you, yeah. Doesn't the alleyway attach to Metal Burden? The, yeah, but there's no door. There's a door on the other... There's a door around the back with a security terminal. Oh, okay. Um... And, and we can't go... The back. I can try again. Just that thing like almost killed me in one swoop. <laughs> so, and if he, if you didn't have those drugs, it would have taken me 13 days to heal back from that. Yeah. Sorry, if, if uh, would I know if we can just blast a security terminal? T to the effectiveness of a random. Potentiality, yeah, sure. Like, you could make it harder. You could destroy his entire system, and one of you would have to repair it. I'm not sure if either any of you have that knowledge. Um, you, it, it could send everything off. It could open everything. We can leave yeah, it. Like a chill down my back. No one's gonna blow up that security <laughs> terminal. <laughs> my dad worked on that every day for ten years. Okay. Um. Let's circle around the back. Okay. Look for another way in. There's gotta be like windows or something. I'll try and hack in again. Maybe this time. Maybe this time I'll get lucky with that hell. But hat. they'd all be barred. Free conversation. Let's look for windows too. Yep. Yeah. I walk around to the back. Alright, okay, the uh, enemy the remnants of dust are up next. Uh, the sniper's gonna take an aim at you, add three to your roll, and three to your armor, because you're behind a door. Oh, he was rolling. Didn't he roll to hit me, or...? Yeah, but you also have to roll. So, every every time there's a an, a an engagement between two people, both sides roll. Oh, that's weird. Yeah, so you always have to roll a dex plus reflex plus 1d10, uh, and they always roll... 19 plus 8. Whoa! How'd you get 19 you plus 8? You said dex plus reflex. My reflex is 10 and my dex is 9. 
Wow. Dex plus reflex plus 1d10. Uh, I, I might be doing something wrong. That seems that seems astronomical. Um, like a, the only thing I would use was for like evasion is dex plus evasion, which is just nine plus five. Reflex is I use reflex for driving and marksmanship. It's... Use dexterity for athletics, melee weapon, evasion. We'll just keep it this way for now, but that's that's crazy. Uh, the 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 door that you're using as cover just all of the glass shatters on it as a this huge round enters right through the center, right uh, uh, between your neck and t the top of your shoulders and just destroys a piece of the building behind you and the door the force of it blows the door off of its hinges and you're just like grabbing this door that's now loose in between uh the street and the building uh and you see the barrel sort of disappear out from the edge and the head sort of dips away um That's their turn. Jay, you're up. Uh, I'm going to go around the back with Netra. Um, and if she's... Between now, <clears throat> or between where we were at and where the security terminal is, is there any... Um, you said that, that, like, you know, <clears throat> bars went down over the windows or grating or shielding mm -hmm. or whatever. Uh... What is it made out of? What is that? Um, I don't know. The grating made out of is like it's like thick metal, thick uh, corrugated metal. Okay. Um, I will I will peep the other corner, then beyond the, the security terminal, and see if there's an entrance way back there, on the other side of the building. Because we've now checked two sides, or three. We have our entrance way on the front, security terminal on the back. I'm going to see if there's a, another entrance way on the other side. So you're going to round the whole building? No. No, I'm just going to peep the corner. So I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not like going around the wall. I'm just like looking. But so you're going around the entire length of the wall and then going around the entire length of the back wall and looking if there's another entrance. <laughs> yes. Peeping, like quick glance. There's not one, back. it's the same. Okay. Your movement action is finished. All right, then I will just uh, get Netra's back. Hopefully she can hack in to this. <laughs> Winslow, you're up. All right, I'm gonna make my way up to the final floor. I'm not gonna go out. Is there like a door leading out into the rooftop area? Yes. Then I am going to wait on the inside, kind of off to the side for, is there a window? No, there's no window. I'm gonna kind of peep out real quick. Tin door, yeah. Can I see what the sniper jumps? Uh, roll a perception check. Uh. Eight plus what? Intelligence plus perception is how we're doing this. Nineteen. Okay, you hear the as you open up the door and and feel this slight press of wind enter, and you look out and you see this. You don't see them immediately. In the opposite corner from where you saw them, you see this like sh shifting of color, um, almost like a like heat waves. Only it's collected around one um, one humanoid uh, sort of representation. If that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. You. Yeah. Exactly. 
How far away? You see the you see just the tip of the barrel sticking out from under. Hmm. How far away from the door? Uh, about twenty feet. Would I be able to make it with the rest of my movement? No, but your gun would. What gun? Oh shit! Never mind. I forgot you don't have one. <laughs> Damn. Uh, no, no. I hold. I'm okay. Holding. If he comes this way to like escape, I stab him. But I'll wait for my next turn. Okay, you can also roll a stealth check if you want to try and be concealed in the doorway. Yeah. Can you see me? You opened the door. Crack. Oh, crack. To look around the entire rooftop. Oh, I'm sorry. What'd you get? Uh, if I'm just doing a straight roll, then a four. Okay. You hear the the shifting of fabric in the wind, and you hear. Oh boy. Okay. Uh, Estrella, <laughs> you're up. The radar just just pictured look at me. I am the captain now. <laughs> Wait, what the? Alright, uh, so what do I see in front of me? I, I guess uh, there's still a guy in the shop, I guess. Are you looking inside the shop? No, there's still a guy in, in the shop. I'm guessing there's still, he's, uh, since I shot and I didn't hear anything, and he's still just pinging me. Yes. You see a drone fly that's like, a drone's actually always be, like been there the whole time, it just hasn't moved, it just keeps looking at everybody. Can I just shoot the drone? Yeah, go for it. What do I Marksmanship? Reflex marksmanship or uh yeah, it just it's just be firing at something. So it's ten plus five plus two? Yeah, just just hit it. Okay. Go ahead and roll damage. Nineteen points of damage. For the shotgun, yeah. And it's five d six. Yes. Yeah. Uh, you just rip through it. And just explodes into the side of a building. The drone was not oh, okay. was yeah, yeah. is uh, was like made out of like collected pieces of. Uh, garbage and, and made functional into a drone out of all unoriginal pieces that were not intended to be a drone. So it was almost like, okay. like struggling to maintain its um, its stability in the air to begin with. Yeah. Netra. Okay, so I'm going to jack into the security system in the back of the building. <laughs> that same uh, 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 wind whipping uh, entity is still there. Um, almost waiting for you as you rejoin. But this time I'm ready. Uh, and then I'm gonna engage two programs. My Speedy Gun. Wait, it's something real. Speedy Gonzalez. No, it's it's actually Speedy Gonzalez. Speedy Gonzalez. <laughs> That's what it says here. <laughs> so I'm doing that one, and I'm also doing the Ban Hammer program. Okay, so that's, that's all three net actions. Yeah. Okay, what does the Banhammer do? Banhammer, so that way I can attack the Hellhound, which does 3d6 damage to the Hellhound. Oh, okay, yeah, go and for it. And then the speedy one uh, adds plus four. But that's all of my net actions, and then on the next turn I'll input the password and then blast that Hellhound into next season. Okay, so if you are, have the stats printed for the Hellhound, they're different, and it's... I don't it is a different them. entity. Good. Um, <laughs> so go ahead and roll for your ban hammer. Is there any way that you want this to manifest in the net? Um, what do you mean roll for my ban hammer? Your damage. Your 3d6. I Because right? I'm still in the first level. And then like next level, I have to input the password, and then that's where the hellhound is, right? I'm just spawning you back to the hellhound. Oh, the, door, okay. the door is already open, so you just oh, come okay, back cool. to where... Yeah. Um, okay. Cool. Let me do that. 
Bonhammer. Do I add any? Uh, no, it's eight. Uh, eight points of damage. So how? Yeah, how does this band hammer manifest? You it's can a giant glowing white sledgehammer. And as soon as I see this floating entity, I'm gonna be like, no. Nah! Not this time! I'm ready! Uh, sweeping it across, the dust sort of trailing behind it in this this perpetual sort of uh, whipping dust storm, you just <laughs> slam it across the, the jaw equivalent of this dust specter, and you just see this dust <laughs> explode off, and a good portion of its to uh, torso is just ripped away before it reels back, and then... <laughs> Slowly, the dust starts to collect on it uh, continually, but its its shoulder is like sagging, and its claws are dipped into the ground as it looks like it's been weakened pretty significantly. But uh, yeah, that's good. Um, uh, it is going to go now. Oh great! <laughs> uh, it's uh, as it's collecting itself, the uh, the claw one claw reaches out towards you and strikes you for eight points of. Pretty much psychic brain meat damage, um, as you again sort of like your your senses in real life dim black just briefly before coming back online. Um, yeah. So the other thing I have a question about is that under here it says the Speedy Gonzalez program has a res of seven. Does that act as like armor in the in the net? So, so then would yeah. I only take technically one point of damage, and then that program would end, and then next turn I would have to yes. use another net action point to start up the program? I believe that is the case. Okay. I shall do that. So I only take one this turn. New systems are scary. They're very confusing. <laughs> Um, the Astrea, you hear talk inside of the uh, the building. You can't quite make out what it is, but it's it's it seems as though the drone was destroyed, and now there's almost like a change of plans on the inside. And you do hear movement. Uh, as a free action, just go ahead and roll a perception check for me. You're just focused on the beautiful billowing smoke from the drone you just destroyed. Happy uh, at its its uh, robo death. Um, <laughs> uh, okay then. Uh, next up, Jay, you're up. You imagine they're not making much movement from inside the 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 building. They are they are like bunkering in. Can I um do a perception check to just see? Trying to get an understanding of, of how many there are, maybe where they're positioned. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to figure out what's... And uh, ha, have, I've been in here, right? Uh, yeah. Which is why it kind of would have been a wasted action to look around the corners, I now realize. Yeah, me too. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. Can I, yeah, just try and see, just like hear, listen for footsteps, chatter, uh, try to figure out where whereabouts they are so that I can give these guys a good idea of where everybody's at when when I hear them approaching or see them. Uh, yeah, go ahead and roll a perception check. You've been identified. Yeekles. Ten. Welcome, Nate. If you're still here, uh, ten. Mm -hmm. Um, as a perception check. Well, I mean, I rolled a, a ten. Uh, natural, oh, natural, uh, ten. natural ten. Okay, you hear uh, the cracking of metal, sort of like uh, many metallic pieces, almost being like slid around, uh, almost like being splayed across, and you hear two individuals inside talking uh, in muffled chatter you 
you effectively just hear one of them saying, like, Wait for them to come in. They won't see it. They won't see it? Yeah. Okay. Uh, all right. Wait. Wait. I'm going to uh, go... Uh, can I can I talk to her? And another thing. Uh, um, well, I haven't used my she's, movement she's yet. She's in the she's in the net right now. Okay. She's, but she's it sounds gone. like I still have awareness in the real world because it says True. I could yeah. actually shoot my gun. Yeah. So yeah. Yes. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> I said like the, the the this rule system. I'm still trying to understand the the webways in between the rules that allow for like talking during a turn because it really only you get a move action and a and an action action. And so it's like, we'll say that you get one, we will say that you get one bonus action equivalent in this just to facilitate that kind of gameplay for uh, like talking, pulling out an item, giving a shotgun to somebody, picking up a shotgun. Mm -hmm. uh, well, thank you. You are a gracious GM. Um, I'd like to use my movement to walk the way that we came. Um, so as I'm passing her, I imagine she's somewhere on the security terminal. I'm gonna say, I'm going back around the other side. And then I will, cause I'll still be in cover behind the sniper, <laughs> or from the sniper. You just been circling this building. But I'm gonna try to see. <laughs> There's nothing over there. But now I know, you know, what's going on inside. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to s be able to see where Astrea is at. Okay. Um, and then I'll just hold my position. Okay, so you can, you, we'll say that you round the corner that you originally were at, sort of like put your ear against the wall, heard there. Did you, I forget, did you say something to Yeah, I just, Nitra? I just told her that I'm going back. You like lean your head over around the wall and, and sort of just like whisper like, hey, I'm, I'm going back <laughs> to the place I was th about three times now. Uh, and you go, uh, scale the, or sorry, uh, keep your back towards the wall and just look over. This is the opposite side for where the concrete wall was thrown up. Um, and th the broken off door, you see Estrella's eyes looking through the hole of the 50 cal that the 50 caliber round made while it ripped off the door. And she's just hunkered down with the, the, uh, door as cover and the inside is open. That's all I can do. So. And, and some. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, 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 I could always do more. So you're right in front of the shop right now? Yeah, you, you hear you hear Jay Pretty sneak much. up on you. But you're, 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 he's behind me or in front of me in front of the shop? He's in front of the... You have the door. He's yeah. he's on the other side on the corner of the shop. Like, you're at the, the doorway that's on... Th <laughs> Such theater of the mind. Uh, yeah. You're on the, the doorway on like the left corner of the shop. If you were to look at it from the street, there's like that, there's like an opening. Uh, that's the single sort of like person doorway. He's on the left side of that <laughs> concrete wall and you are holding the door just on the corner. So you guys are mere feet from each so other. So you're saying the, uh, so like the street's going this way up and down. This is the front of the shop. Yes. I'm right here where the door was. Absolutely. He's over here on the other side of the shop, on the other corner, like looking at me. Yes. Okay, yeah, that's what I have drawn. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect, Chione. In a crude way. Uh, I guess I am going to take the door and I'm going to slowly move towards. What's your turn now? Oh wait, it's not my turn. <laughs> no, it's not. Oh, well, <laughs> I'm still waiting for um, Jay to go. You can go. <laughs> wow. I'm done. And scene. Yeah, sure. yeah. You see the you see Jay's arms like virtual reality controllers just get like go up and get set down on something and the head just like lost to the side. <laughs> no, I mean all I did was use my movement and what should be a free action to, to talk to uh, Netra, and that's it. I just realized Netra, Netrunna, <laughs> Netrunna. Oh, I'm sorry. It's not no, it's good. good. It's great. It's I love it. Uh, Winslow. <laughs> I'm not very good at naming things. Okay. Uh, I think it's. I think it's on point. I think it's spot on. I rip open the door and I sprint after him. Okay, roll a reflex plus dex. 
Uh, plus D- one D10. Okay. As you hear... 19. He's got a knife. Can he get some cool points? He runs faster with a knife. Yeah, I'm like bursting out with my, my jump legs. So they also rolled a 19. It's... That's why I need to sort of reinvestigate these these rules because like almost the highest that they can roll is like a 22. And so that's why your almost by default is higher than that by any means. So like you you both roll 19, you win. Your knife is out. The the 50 caliber round just separates into two as your arm shoots out in front of you before you're even thinking. Uh just and it's red hot, the tip of your blade, as you're running forward. That was a free action uh, because that was them holding their action. Mm. As the the sort of displacement of colors, the cloak <laughs> reveals their entire body as they <laughs> and are like getting up out of place and are like, oh fuck! I'm sprinting over them with like the biggest smile. And I'm tackling them as I'm staggering them over the edge. <laughs> you're going over the yeah. edge. Okay, uh, add cool points to everything you do. <laughs> um, but you will take Hopefully a certain amount of damage. So he's, he's across the street on, like, across the way from us? like. Yes, so he's out of view on the third story, like, uh, in front of you, to the right, the third story building. <laughs> Theater of the mind. Um, you just hear this 50 caliber round shoot off into nothing, and you hear this... Um, and the shuffle of, of armor plating... And we'll what's your roll? Let's see. To tackle, this would be. Oh, I have the rules for this. True. Or do I? What do you mean you? Oh, okay. Um, grappling. When grappling. <laughs> what just happened there? Yeah, that really was that impressive. Just, that's all I was doing. Yeah. I'm going to watch this replay on this stream over here. What did I miss? <laughs> Rummy had to... I was just taking a really deep breath. That's it. Just... <laughs> did you poop? <laughs> did you burp? Probably. You know what? I don't know what grappling is, but there is a rule for it for it in here. So we'll just make it up as we go along. Um, you know, if, I'm adding, if I'm adding my cool to this, it's a natural 17. So whatever on top of that. If we're Wait, adding, you rolled a 10? No, I rolled an 8. But I'm adding my, if I'm adding my cool and yes. then brawling. Yes, that would be it. Then it's uh, uh, 17. 22. Um, you grab their uh, their rifle, rip it out of their hands. As they're sort of jolted forward, you lean under, grab, stab. Are you stabbing them with a knife? Oh, yeah. Stab them with a the knife and just use your your legs to oh, we're going gain over, five feet as you arc over the edge. Their back arced, you on top of them, knife going in, and you just see the ground rushing towards you past their sort of augmented face with a, a lens like built into one of their eyes, really large. And you're just... Right at the last second, just go... Like, push off his body. Yes, because that countermeasure. <laughs> yeah, that's... <laughs> if you jump off an elevator falling at the last moment... I'm trying it, damn it! I'm doing it! I'm doing it! Do a push-up at the last second, it'll all work out. It'll all work out. Uh, this, this will be... So, okay. Um, Ooh, that's a good roll. Okay. Uh, that's a 23. As the ground rushes towards you... Uh, first of all, roll damage for them, for your knife. Is there a Semper Fi in there? Oh, well, I mean, come on. It's, it's, yeah. Dumb <laughs> stuff. Uh, four points stabbing. Am I adding anything? Or well, melee damage, sorry, so nine points. Nine points of stabbing? Okay, so uh, you pull your knife out Do and I try add and. My cool to that? You're, you are adding your cool to oh, your damage. And, um, 18. Okay, so you're also adding your cool to the, you're detracting your cool from the amount of damage that you're going to take. Oh, thank God. Uh, as the ground is rushing towards you, you jump off, push them forward. They turn into parts in organic matter splayed across, just pelted, <laughs> just flattened um, uh, by the fall. You jump off and try and like, I'm free. yeah, tr- try and uh, uh, pull your body in into a roll and you're, 
Uh, you crush into the ground. You take 26 points of bludgeoning damage, as they did. <laughs> Reduce that by whatever your cool points are. Nine. Nine as y- you feel the crush of your shoulder as it lands first, yeah. and the whip of your body <laughs> whip around as you tuck your legs in and turn it into a combat roll. Uh, but your the shoulder took the brunt of the impact before you could do that. As you <laughs> stand up and I try to like try to flail my arm up in the air like a fist, and it's like ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> um, it will be a minus three to your rolls until you apply first aid uh, okay. for for any brawling or anything that involves two hands. Where did I roll? But you, uh, your your uh, it's the sniper's. It landed on the ground, maybe 15 feet away from you guys. Cool. I'm going to make my way over there. Okay, that's your turn. Uh, Astraea, you're up. I wanted to do, like, another thing. So so 15, 15, 17 points of damage total. Okay. So he's now down here on on the street. He is, yeah. As you just hear... I guess I can, I, can, I can easily look back and see him, I guess, since I'm right there. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm probably like 50 yards yeah, away, but... I guess uh, I'm there. going to turn the door... Since the sniper's gone, I'm going to turn the door towards the uh, shop. Is it my turn, or no? Yes. Turn the door towards the shop and slowly creep, like, past the door towards Jay and just... Well, this is... This, are the main garage doors open, or is it just that one door that's just open? Just that one door. I guess, I guess I'm going to quickly go past that door then, go over to Jay's side and be like, just put the door down and just like, hey, so what's, do you have a plan to get into this place, or is Netro working on it, or am I just going to keep shooting shots into this place? <laughs> there are two inside. Netra's hacking the security terminal in the back. Mm-hmm. They're waiting for us. So could I? Uh, actually, I don't have anything besides the shotgun and the pistol. Uh, uh, is there any like? Do I spend? No, no. no. Is there, is there, are there any chemicals that I can see or anything like that? Run another perception check as you're passing the front door. Hmm. Seven. Plus perception plus intelligence if you have it. Perception is plus five. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Plus, you don't have anything for just your raw intelligence. Oh, you want to do that at it as well. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So 19, I guess? 19. Okay, so you see... Um, there are not many chemicals in here, but this is a metal shop, and actually in front of the front door, you see this, like littering of small metallic shards that's just splayed across the front entrance as as you look in. Uh, I guess I, I you see, you really... also see like a collection of normal machines, but you don't have, uh, um, I have, I have a list of <laughs> uh, metal objects. Well, you just see a whole I'm bunch just, of metal machinery. I'm, I'm just gonna hold my hold my shots, I guess, until we decide to breach the uh, doorway or whatever. Okay. Uh, Netra, you are up. Uh, so first I'd like to engage the Speedy Gonzalez program again. Okay. And then I would like to use uh, Pathfinder to you... try and see the rest of the levels. The, the dust... Spectre is still in front of you. Did not destroy it. Could I should still be able to though. Oh, so you're just doing this before? Yeah. Okay, so yeah, you're like take up a defensive position, try and like poof, uh, sense the the inner workings of the security module that you are currently yeah. virtually inside of. Okay, um, 16, you see that there are two more levels. Okay. Uh, after this level, there are two control nodes. 
One on the next level, no defenses. One on the, the highest level, no defenses. Okay. And then in that case, wait, sorry. The next one is what security? What? No defenses? No defenses <laughs> no on defenses. the next two levels. <laughs> Almost got you. Uh, in that case, for my third net action, I'm going to slide away from this hellhound. Okay. And then escape, hopefully, with a good enough roll to the next floor. All right. So, like, backing up, putting your fingers to the ground, putting your uh, your head down to sense the, the next security levels in the inner workings. Zoo, 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 zoo. Uh, almost like this map forms in your brain of of the um, the the structure, and you look up, see the open door behind the hellhound, and just slide between its dusty, wisping uh, legs as it turns around and runs after you as you uh, appear in the next sort of like calm, uh, almost like a volcano had erupted, but all all the dust and ash had settled for many days now it's just very calm and you see one sort of security dais uh control node with a joystick uh at the top i shall walk up to it and then that's the end of my turn okay um as the outside uh defenses of the remnants of dust gang have been dealt with and all that is left is whatever lies in wait on the inside Netra has successfully hacked the terminal and bypassed the Hellhound. Uh, Winslore has pulped his second victim <laughs> on the ground with nothing but a knife and physics. Uh, Jay has scraped things. <laughs> yes. Very I'm just menacing. Kidding. Uh, I got a machete kill. Jay has decapitated uh, his enemy in a very glorious, cool fashion. Uh, stolen his gun and gifted it onto Netra after healing her. <laughs> and uh, Astrea has been surveying the area, gathering information, and staying alive after being attacked <laughs> by multiple um, forces of the remnants of dust. And initiating this entire firefight to begin with. Uh, after pulling out a shotgun in the middle of the street, <laughs> thinking it was just totally cool. Uh, he was following me. Or he was supposed to be following me, but no. We will pick up there next time on Sassapunk. As always, assassins until fate next brings us together. And, and never, never stop, stop playing. jacking in. What? Oh. We're, we're gonna change it, out. it on like, this okay. one. I thought that's what it was the last oh, cyberpunk yeah, we, one we that we did. We discussed it. We did. <laughs> <laughs> this is our outro. What yep. an outro. Close, wait, wait, close it. Yeah, close end it. stream. End, end stream end now. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Bye. Make sure to like, comment, <laughs> subscribe. I guess we'll or give us that a red. Follow. That red. Oh, we'll tap, tap the keyboard. We'll here tap the keyboard seconds. first. Tap the space button. See you next week, same time. Thursdays at 7 p.m. Uh, oh, Make sure to check out our YouTube channel. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Got it. Got it. He's got a good point. Ah, oh, rewind <laughs> and then deletion. Uh, <laughs> this will be posted on YouTube at Wednesdays at uh, 6 p.m. Uh, thank you for joining us. Uh, we also have the losers down to my bottom right, your bottom left, who stream every Tuesday through Thursday from 2 to 6. And they're also doing... Loser three to three six. Three to six. I'm sorry. Three to six. And they're also doing loser nights from nine to twelve. Some of those days. Uh, and they're also playing uh, cyberpunk with us. So they're up to quite a bit. Check them out. Um, turn it off now. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Take care. Bye. Get out. <laughs> ha.